And I'm being informed that our wolves have just received fin finished receiving their pre-performance pets, and our co-op runners are ready to rando. So please, let's hear it for Gymnast 86, Spike Vegeta, and the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess co-op randomizer. I want everyone to know that Jim patted my head like a good boy right before this. <laughs> the best and boy. It was adorable. <laughs> so I know we want to keep uh, the, the the whole schedule on schedule, so we'll try to give our quick introductions. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to SGDQ 2024. I'm Spike Vegeta. I am joined by the one, the only legendary Gymnast86, and we're going to be playing for you all The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Randomizer in cooperative fashion, meaning we're both going to be playing the same seat at the same time and sharing information as we go. Now, Jim, what is our goal today? What do we got to do. So for the Twilight Princess Randomizer, our goal is to beat the big bad guy Ganondorf who is sitting in Hyrule Castle. To get to Hyrule Castle, we have to beat four random dungeons that we don't know what they are. They could be any combination of four that the game has, but we have to beat those dungeons and then we can go off to Hyrule Castle to kill Ganondorf. Uh, but as you guys I'm sure know, there is an incentive to add even more dungeons to that. So if you want us to do five, maybe six dungeons, uh, be sure to get those donations in for that. Uh, but so, yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and jump in, but real quick, I do want to give a big shout out to Phantom5800 and Lunar Soap, two amazing commentators that we're going to have with us today. Uh, go on this journey. It's fun. It's a randomizer. We don't know what's about to happen. We don't know where anything is, so let's find out. With that, let's go ahead and get started in five, four, four three, two, one, one go. go. I got a one second lead on Gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you do with co-op randomizers, you obviously want to be efficient. You want to be covering ground as quickly as you can. All right, so for our dungeons today, we got Forest Temple, uh, Lake Bed, Snow Peak, and City in the Sky. You read that so fast. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'd have been there for five minutes. That's why he's the reader. I'm the picker-upper. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of the other aspects of the Twilight Princess randomizer, it, randomizer is we also have these hint signs placed around the world that are going to tell us various facts about the randomizer seed that we're playing. Uh, so the hint sign that I read there said that uh, the goats check in Ordnance Village is dead, so I will not be doing that one. No goats today. It's very convenient. Honestly, <laughs> we, we big take those. Yeah, I know, we got the boos in the crowd. The boos have been awesome. They're wholesome and terrifying at the same time. It's great. But yeah, so we're instantly, so like Jim was saying, uh, you know, Twilight Princess is a pretty by itself, a very linear game. So it's really cool that the randomizer was able to take it and say, what if it was an open world game? Let's mix it with like Breath of the Wild. That'd be cool. So we're going to be warping around, trying to check all these various checks as quickly as we can, including the post holes right here. I just ripped that dude's heart out, literally. It was great. <laughs> Anything on the mass sword? Yo, bloop. Bloop. Oh, yo, double bloops. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. We kept trying to talk <laughs> yeah, to each other. Yeah. 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 So I'm doing the Orden checks. Uh, Spike's going off to do other things in Farron Woods here in the, in the uh, what was it called? The Sacred Grove. That's what the name is. So I'm carrying this cradle back so that I can get uh, a check from Uli here for delivering her cradle back. We got another hint sign. Castle Town, Town is on the way of the hero. Okay, okay, so we'll take that. So anybody, if you have not watched other Zelda randomizers, that's a pretty standard uh, wording we have for it. Oh, a nice bow right there we see from Jim. Our first major item discovered. Good job, Jim. Thank you. I believed in you. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort to get that. Uh -huh. yeah. Ooh, 50 bucks. I'll take those. Um, but yeah, uh, the hint side right back there said so and so is on the way to here, Castle Town specifically. So we know that Castle Town has some item that we need in order to beat the seed. What it is, we don't know. There's even potential it's some sort of item you could work around out of logic, we call it. Because there has to be a logic in play. Lunar Soap, you can explain a little bit more about this as one of the primary devs of Twilight Princess Randomizer, how logic works. Yeah, so logic is essentially um, parameters that we put in so that way when the generator places items, it makes it to where the world isn't un like isn't beatable. And so it's just parameters we put in say, hey, you know, if you're going to do this, we want to make sure that you have the ball and chain or the bomb bag just to make sure that everything is good and kosher. But if you play on no logic, then that kind of goes out the window and it's you versus the world. So I would like to know, my monitor home is a little lighter than this. So I am big following the mini map right here to try to finagle our way through it. Things are probably going to chomp on me. That's okay. But yeah, these are 
locations you still don't want to be leaving behind. I think I'm almost to the check. All right. Yeah, we, oh, oh, back it up, 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 back it up. Nope. Back it up. You know what? I might be able to get some light in there by killing the enemy. <laughs> It is right about, where did the chest go? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's somewhere in, Chad, I need your power. And this is why Lantern is logically required for this chest so you can actually see. <laughs> where are we? Anyway, while, while Spike is uh, shifting yeah. around in the dark here, uh, I'm wrestling Bo for uh, what normally in the base game, Bo gives you uh, the iron boots uh, when you beat him at wrestling. Yeah, that we're going to get. Use your senses. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is tech. I've literally never had to use that before. All right, God. Worth, worth, worth. Dude, we didn't need, oh, this is, okay. All right, we don't need Lantern anymore. Look at this. <laughs> that was a great assist right there. The <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so much brighter out here all of a sudden. <laughs> We're going to be doing a little, it's a minor trick right here that I don't think we, at least I didn't know about until a couple of weeks ago. There's one check in the mist here where you would normally need the lantern, but by the power of being kind of tall, we can get up there and uh, get that check out of logic. Yo, Dominion Rod, okay. Oh, oh Dominion Rod, all very right. useful. Yeah, so the Dominion Rod in the randomizer is actually kind of interesting. Uh, there are actually two Dominion Rods. Uh, in the randomizer. Also, let's see what the hint here is. Uh, okay, those two long checks are dead good. Um, but yeah, so the first Dominion Rod uh, that you get gives you the ability to use the Dominion Rod in the Temple of Time itself in the past, and then the second one is the powered-up Dominion Rod that allows you to use it in the overworld, where normally it doesn't work in the beginning. So the single Dominion Rod by itself is not doing a ton for us. It would give us access to two checks back in the Sacred Grove that we will hit up later. Ooh. Oh, very useful. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to spend 500 bucks for an ordinary shield. As cool as the oh, shield looks. Dude. It, it is a very nice shield. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm going to Castletown here, partially to chase that hint that we got uh, about Castletown, but also because Castletown has a bunch of different uh, hint stones that are hint, hint signs, excuse me, that we can use to uh, just get more information about the seed as we go through. I also did a funny thing here where I changed it to nighttime. The game normally doesn't allow you to do that, but uh, this is the randomizer, has lots of quality of life stuff that has been implemented. Uh, one of which is the ability to change between day and night without having to wait 11 minutes. So nice. <laughs> yeah, I did not, because I hadn't played the regular game in so long. I did not realize uh, that was the thing, and that sounds awful. I know you've been doing a lot of like Twilight Princess 100% speedruns of like the base game. And uh, you can just like miss cycles on. Wow. Oh, it's awful. I got frozen. Ah! Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there is some toxicity in the crowd. Today. <laughs> I really appreciate the bounce that. Last GDQ, we were like, oh, the meme will be hooray. Yeah, well, that's great. Great, positive. What are we going to do this time? Boo! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Y'all are great. We love you. If you'd like some positivity, may I share with you some positive donations? Oh, please, Absolutely, God. yes. I've got here $100 from Nux Tenma. Ooh. Woo. Let's go. Woo! Exactly. Who says, Twilight Princess Link is clearly the best Link because he's also a doggo. Good luck fetching the Triforce, Jim and Spike. Also, I'll donate another $200 if either of you can finish off a boss with the spinner. Oh, oh <laughs> the challenge has started. Ooh. I, I, I'm a scrub. I don't know about this. What is... <laughs> this is where we learned that spinner is actually in Hyrule Castle, this seed. So, uh, All right. <laughs> No, but yeah, so uh, I, found the, the, I found the iron boots there on the Poe in Giovanni's house. That's probably our uh, way of the hero hint that we got earlier, uh, uh, alluding to that item there. Uh, I did, unfortunately, not have enough money to check the, <laughs> the Malo Mart check, so uh, that's going to remain unknown Dude, for the time it's being. $10. <laughs> How do we keep doing this? <laughs> Lake Lantern Cave is also on the way of the hero. That's a very common one. All right, this Poe can be an absolute jerkwad, so we're gonna see. I try to like space the enemies away and hit him from max distance. If you charge up and then go into your, oh, where is he? Oh, jump of destiny. All right, we ripped his soul out, that's great. He had $100 in there. I don't know what that says about him, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, stop yelling at my horse. Um, yeah, so generally with Poe's, you wanna 
perform a technique. The most basic one is you charge up while you're not in scent form. And then, not the prize guy, like inside Charlie Princess. And uh, then as they come close, that baits them towards you. Then you can go into scent form at the last second and uh, do your charge back and get the dub. I also really relish any time I get to run into an enemy with a Pona. Look at this. Bang! <laughs> that dude's day was ruined. <laughs> So yeah, also seeing those items, there'll be several freestanding items we can just take a peek at and determine we don't necessarily need it. I can peek this one over here, and I'm gonna get a little close to make sure I don't say, oh, it's nothing up there. Yeah, that is definitely a piece of art. Robbie, you don't want to find out two hours later, ah, oh, that was the claw shot. Yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, in terms of major items we definitely want to see and we would pog for would be like, uh, either of the claw shots would be really good. We need both of them in order to beat the seed. Uh, any sort of explosives would be really good right now. One that a lot of people might not necessarily think of, if you only know this game casually, not necessarily in either a speedrunning or a rando sense, is the lantern. The lantern is the strongest it is in any Zelda game ever. It locks 5,000 checks. It's unreal. Yep. <laughs> uh, we determined we do not be need post souls, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Unless you want another 100 bucks for... Uh... Collecting 20 postals. For, okay, thank you. Do you have just a moment for a quick announcement? Oh, please go. Absolutely. Because we have just hit 50% of the way to that bonus dungeon. Woo! Ooh. Very nice. That is so much great money for charity, y'all. Thank you so much. But 50% means we have 50% more to go, and we have four dungeons to get there. So keep on going, y'all. We're also less than $1,000 shy of d d being at uh, 1050000 k um, Please, I like watching number go up. Yo, let's do it. I see the big number right there in front of me. I want to pop off 1.05 million right now. Let's do it. Y'all are incredible every single year, what you all do for charity, so heck yeah. We also just learned the Sacred Grove is on the way of the hero. Oh, Which okay. we can go back. I could go back there and hit up Dominion Rod. In right. fact, you know what? I'm going to go. Yeah. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> the quick tech you want to do is you want to open the map, and then you can utilize from there a quick way to uh, warp over. There's three checks I can go back over here and get, including the two Dominion Rod locked checks. Yep. So... Yeah, because Temple of Time is not one of our required dungeons, uh, the only checks that the first Dominion Lod rocks are those two checks in the past. Um, although we do also have some overworld checks where we move around some owl statues that require both Dominion Rods, uh, which we could potentially need if we find that second rod. It's probably worth mentioning, since uh, Spike and Gymnast have been warping around everywhere, you don't have to start with the ability to turn into Wolf, uh, but because they did, we have no. a bunch of warps. <laughs> 1.05, baby! Let's go. Let's hit 1.1. 1. 1. 1.1, 1. keep going. Yeah, so we have almost all of the warps open in the, from the beginning, and they can go almost everywhere. There's a uh -huh. few that need to be opened up progressively, as you would in vanilla. All right, that one was not the excitement. Is this the excitement? <laughs> So again, charge up, make sure he's behind me. Oh, he wasn't. That was the problem. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He has, dis he has disappeared. In oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, there we go. Is this cool? Not no. cool. Ah. Mm. There is one more check we can go get. Because we know Sacred Grove is way of the hero, I'm going to go get that other yeah. bow. Generally, there's obviously any time you're doing a randomizer, you want to think, how do I hit up check density? Maybe I save some checks for later on so it groups better together with others. Um, but, uh, you know, knowing that Sacred Grove is way of the hero, that, uh, that changes things just a little bit. Yeah, so right now I'm uh, hitting the uh, upper part of Zora's Domain here again just to get some more hint signs and to check uh, Upper Zora's River as well. Thankfully, we know that uh, a bunch of the long checks like the Isa Helping Hand or the uh, Ice Block Puzzle Cave uh, in the Nehru Field are dead now. So we don't have to go and check them because we know that they will not have any useful items. Do you have a quick moment? Because one of our donors found a hint for you. Oh, oh what's that? They, uh, they found $100 from Zanuck who says, they say Doctors Without Borders is on the way of the hero. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 
Chad, that sounds like Jim and I cannot do this alone. You got to go on the adventure with us and keep those donations a popping. Of course you can't do it alone. It's a co-op. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Do you have time for one more special donation? Sure, let's do it. Because I have... Oh! oh. <laughs> but yes, we yes. have. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get the celebratory lantern first. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have $500 for you. From Whoa, that's Whoa. awesome. <laughs> from Inverse 415, who says, I want to send a huge shout out to my wonderful husband, Lunar Soap. Over the last few years, I have seen you put hundreds of hours into this project. Your dedication and passion have always amazed me. And seeing you share your hard work on the GDQ stage fills me with pride and joy. You've put so much love into this project, and it's incredible to see it celebrated here with an amazing group of runners to boot. Thank you, GDQ, for this opportunity and for supporting such a fantastic cause. Let's get that extra dungeon, everyone. Woo! That was adorable. Shout outs to my wife for being here. Uh, she's actually 31 weeks pregnant, so oh. we cut this right at the line for being able to travel. So uh, shout out to her. She's been my biggest supporter, and it's been a very fun time. Heck yeah, so happy for you guys. And what a legend. I know. 31 weeks. Yeah, so uh, I feel like the, there was a little bit of humor right there in that I spent about an extra minute trying to sift my way through the, uh, the dark <laughs> cave. They were like, uh, this dude needs a lantern. <laughs> so like I said, there's this whole pack of checks and a ton of others that the lantern is logically locking. And uh, yeah, you will not get very far in this mist without uh, waving your lantern around. Three more checks over here. We'll see if this leads any to anything directly. But uh, it is something we're gonna need just to beat, well, I guess not necessarily some of the dungeons. There was potential. So it's gone. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Big, Huge wallet energy. Big money. Uh, did you get the lantern check that was in uh, the Lost Woods after you got the lantern? Yeah, so I didn't. I don't know if like, it was worth running back or not. <laughs> I thought about it. I determined against it. So uh, Yeah, I think I'll go back and check that one just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two more quickies right here. We do know that the Lake Lantern Cave, which is the hype cave of this randomizer, uh, it's got 18 checks in it, which all... Oh, oh yes. let's go! I'm so happy. The item. Now we're not going to find a sword for like six hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, so now let's go over. Let's go back to Kakariko and uh, continue on my way up. Again, Gymnast and I, in all of our co-oping, we've tried to think how to divide and conquer any and all of your checks. So we've kind of fallen into a general flow of, I go up the right side, checking Kakariko Village and all these other locations on the right side of the map, where Jim's hitting up like Castle Town and Zora's Domain, so on and so forth. And also, uh, lantern color check. Jim's got the pretty blue, and Spike has the purple. Very nice. Oh, we purple? So. Fun story about the lantern. Um, so back in the older days of the randomizer, uh, we were able to change the lantern color pretty easily, thanks to some research that people have done long ago. But we could never change the color of like the oil meter. And one day, someone came into the TPR Discord and was like, hey, I want to change lantern color. How do we do it? And I said, here's the information. Go forth and do great things. And they came back and said, OK, I messed up somewhere because I accidentally changed the oil meter color and not the light <laughs> color. And I was like, OK, how about we trade information? And so this <laughs> random person that came in is the reason why we have the ability to change the color of the meter. <laughs> what a contribution. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Joined speedrunning today, man. <laughs> Ah, Gerudo Desert is on the way of the hero. Hmm, okay. Sure, let's do this. Sounds like we will need to find Oru's memo to get access okay. to the Gerudo Desert there. I also do want to point out, so again, we have got this donation incentive that is rolling that we're able to raise $50,000, of which you all have already raised, like, what, a million? What are we at? I didn't see the number. Uh, we all have raised a ton of money for. If we get to $50,000, we will add a fifth dungeon that Jim and I have to play through. But if y'all are able to get us there, Pretty soon. Then we might even have the ability to add a sixth dungeon to it. So if you're just like, hey, Twilight Princess, it does have the best dungeons in all of Zelda. I want to see even more of those. Get your donations in. That would be sick. All right. We'll just replace it with another five. Quick update. We have surpassed $30,000 towards that incentive. <laughs> Making great progress, y'all. Twitch chat, you are all so powerful, and we love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I'm going to head out to Lake Hylie here, a pretty big hub of checks. Um, ideally, I would have maybe had, like, ball and chain or some explosives before coming here so that we can do the Lake Lantern Cave right away, but there's still a lot that we can do here without uh, being able to do that. I'm trying to think when I should go over, because it was just the bow you found, correct, in uh, Ordon? Yeah, just the bow in Ordon. Like, we could maybe hold out for the fishing rod, I don't know, before I would go back there, because the bow by itself is not doing a ton for you, even though the bow is super sick nasty. It's uh, much better once you find bombs to pair with it, because then you're just walking, exploding stuff. I love Twilight Princess. Thanks for bringing that back. And the Gale Boomerang, if you're wondering, like, why did they pop off so hard for that? Isn't it just a boomerang? If you've watched uh, Twilight Princess speedruns before, you know the boomerang is the most broken item in the game, especially when paired with a sword. Oh, let's go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the actual best item. God. Yeah. The slingshot sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I, I believe Spike's idea to buff the slingshot was to turn the slingshot into bomb arrows in the yes. next release. Oh, okay. gosh. <laughs> Just straight up here. I mean, that is the way to add value to that thing. Oh, yeah. It does nothing. It unlocks, <laughs> hey, fun three checks of Forest Temple. You could go do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not very powerful at all. Even basic enemies, it won't kill them, most all of them. So yeah, the slingshot's just there. But, uh, you know, it's come along for the ride. We got to light it up on the tracker up there, I see. That's what's important. Uh, We're going to fill this tracker. Oh, yeah. Making our way up to the top of Kakariko. So the way I've tried to route Kakariko here is to make sure there are four pose uh, that I have access to. So I'm trying to combine it to where I have to change the time of day less times. So now going up here, which would have been closed all these doors throughout the nighttime, I now get up to this point. I'll kill the two pose up here, get a couple of checks, warp back, and then go to the graveyard where it will have, have two additional checks. Trying to cut out as many load zones as you can, as those are not super duper fast. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't. Uh, oh well, do that. Mi do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, are we? Are we are throwing we, away the the middle chest? Are we skipping chest two? Maybe. <laughs> do we really want this to have something? One of these chests, so there's a reason for me to go do it. Otherwise, man, that'll be hilarious. I want to give a big shout to one of the other devs, Isaac at home, who vetted this scene, said it would be a good one for GDQ, so it's going to be hilarious when it's garbage. Um, and him sitting at home saying, ah! <laughs> that was 12 swords in there. <laughs> yeah, Which so one? Was it the very top one you missed? Or the no, it was the second one down. Second one, all right. Yeah. Do you have time for a very special donation? Let's do it. Please do. Oh, Oros Memo. Memo. Oh, okay. Ah, perfect way to kick into the donation. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. I have $2,000 here for Woo! you. Let's go, baby. And that money comes courtesy of Baby Lold, who says, first time watcher, First time donator. After all, I was just born three days ago. Oh. <laughs> Had to borrow daddy's credit card to express love <laughs> to his two best friends, Jim and Pippi. To say hello to the always entertaining Spike, to shout out the amazing couch and the beautiful back couch, and to send some support to Doctors Without Borders. I spent the last few days in the hospital, and I believe everyone worldwide deserves to have access to the same level of medical care I received. Good luck and have fun with this randomizer, though I do prefer the one where you can find the baby rattle. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you for stealing a credit card. <laughs> Thank you for stealing your credit card. Don't emulate that behavior at home. <laughs> Yeah, so a couple different uh, little platforming tricks you got to see from both Jim and I right there. Those are cool. It's always cool to find the ability to do stuff out of logic. I think randomizers get a lot more fun when you are able to do that. Uh, but also right before that amazing donation, I was able to find the Oro's Memo, which gives you access to an entire corner of the map that we don't have access to, the desert. And we do know the Gerudo Desert is also on the way of the hero, so we'll be probably hitting that up very, very soon. Like to see a couple of the things, potentially a claw shot would be really, really nice. Yeah, having oh, a man. sword would also be good. Still don't have one of those. Mm. I'm hoping that uh, Gerudo Desert is pointing Bottle. to the owl statue. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.
Yeah, definitely the big items that like people can pop off for. We find swords, we find claw shots, we find that That's thing. Oh, there we go. That's my boy. Let's go. <laughs> I see why the lantern was required. Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good. All right, sorry. Uh, that's been in my head the last few days. Shouts to Saucy. All right. Um, but yeah, so uh, with that, that actually opens up a couple more checks. We now have something to explode stuff with. Uh, so nice and violent. It'll be great. Um, I think, yeah, let's let's continue to do this stuff first, I guess. Yeah, go up to North Elden Cause, Field. Because uh, we could just rush Lake Lantern Cave, which we know is way of the hero right now, but... Let's face it, you need a million things to beat Twilight Princess. You still have, okay, you have the irons, I do not. Yeah, so I'll go and check the the chest under the spring. Yeah. Hey, ball and chain, that was sick. Wow. Oh, great job, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just clairvoyant like that, you know. I've definitely done a lot of co-op randomizers with people where I get the chest and I'm popping off for a second and say, oh, we knew that. <laughs> We've known that for five minutes, good job. Yeah, this is not the uh, fastest way to get access to this check, but we're going to do it. Ball and Chain is uh, an amazing item in that it also has a ton of utility. That you can actually even grab things out of the air, like that you would normally need, like, claw shot or boomerang with. There's a check coming up that I'll grab with it just to showcase, yeah, you can do that. Uh, I don't know why it has those properties, but it is the item that has the most utility in the game. So between that and the Gale Boomerang, my two favorite items have been found. Yeah, and fun fact about the ball and chain, you can actually use it to destroy spider webs. But for some reason in the game code, like, because bombs can also destroy spider webs, and bombs and ball and chain are one and the same in certain instances. So if you hit a web with the ball and chain, it just burns. Like, just catches yep. on fire. And it's like, <laughs> nope. My favorite is when you're not looking at the web and it just doesn't burn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to go over here, get the uh, Oru's memo that Spike found earlier. Since I'm here, I may as well also grab it. Uh, and then I think I will probably go do Lake Lantern Cave. Yep. Uh, that sounds like the sauce. Again, 18 big fatty checks in there, so hopefully we'll find something. I want to hear from the uh, audience. Pick a number between 0 and 18. I'm going to say it's at least one, because we probably <laughs> need something in there. How many important items do you think are going to be in that Lake Lantern Cave? Just yell them out. 0 and 18. I'm hearing a lot of twos. Yeah, yeah twos. I heard a lot of twos. Twos is probably two twos. Two is probably a pretty smart number. Uh, we're only about still 14 items from Go mode, so still a decent. <laughs> <laughs> Bombs can be found in the entirety of Lanayru Province. Sick. What's up, guys? <laughs> Whenever applicable, you want to try to jump on Epona from the backside because that'll give her an initial nay and send her on her way. I don't know why I phrased it like that. It was great. Um, Sometimes in life, you just need an additional nay. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Any, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so twitch-pilled, I'm sorry. <laughs> we did get a hint in here earlier that this lantern check is dead, so I just have to very precisely open up this chest. Very nice. Hey, that's oh. validation, Ruby. Yeah. Oh, was that Link's house, yeah, was Ruby? Link's house Let's Ruby. go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so in most uh, Zelda games, there's a validation rupee, which is just there's one of this specific kind of rupee. So in Ocarina of Time, it's a green rupee. Uh, in Twilight Princess, it's Link's basement rupee because it's purple and it has different texts. And so that's our validation rupee. There's no uh, special name for it. If you want to come up for it, uh, definitely hit us up, and we take all suggestions. Or you can donate and you know tell us what you think it's going to be. <laughs> Yeah, we think this one should be called Randy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I imagine if you ever do a hitless run of this game, this field sucks. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, these archers are, uh, oh, they're, they're archers. They're, uh, their aim is incredibly good. I kind of hope I get destroyed here when going to get another check pretty soon. That's what happened to me, to, to me a lot. But uh, yeah, you saw that post hole up on the ground. We don't need post holes, but I want to showcase the ball of chain has weird utility. I don't get it, but the game does, and that's all that's important. All right, so now Jim going into the Lake Lantern Cave. Again, 18 big checks in there. How many good things will there be? Well, we're 0 for 2 so far. 0 for 2. Yeah, actually, the one uh, the one annoying thing about coming in here with the ball and chain is that the game likes to prioritize putting away the lantern yeah. before yep. putting away the ball and chain. Uh, so a little annoying on that front, but oh well. Yeah, so right here, we'll go ahead and show the utility. And then after that, I'm going to try to do another out of logic wolf jump. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. Oh, God. I mean, this is awful. I swear it's cool. <laughs> I swear this is worth it. 
Let's go, baby. Hey. Let's go. Easy first try. But now we're gonna do something so like this, another little nifty wolf trick you do right here. You're not, you're supposed to have both of the Dominion Rods in order to get this, but if we line this up, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and cool, all right, he can jump and grab that. Woo! -hoo! That's right, baby. That's one of like your first like three chick. That is probably the first trick I learned when uh, learning Twilight Princess Randomizer. Hey. Oh! Hey. Okay. Very nice. That was so much cooler than what I did. <laughs> I opened a chest. <laughs> which uh, so which one was that again? Uh, that was the one directly after the Poe, the first Poe. Okay, not in the room with the Poe. Oh no, sorry. Yes, in in the room with the Poe. Okay. That one chest. Chilling yeah. in the room with the Poe. You know, I think it's good whenever you play a co-op randomizer and you develop names for every single check in the game, so you can just be like, uh, write up three, whatever, you know, whatever stupid name you can come up with. Uh, so I just threw out numbers, that was lame. But uh, yeah, uh, there's 18 checks in this game, so it's really hard to keep track of all of them. Yeah, I think of the logic, it's literally first, second, third, third fourth, yeah. fifth, yeah. sixth, yeah. 17, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry, but do you have time for another super special donation? Yes. Because I have five hundred dollars from Isaac. Woo! Let's go. Happy. Isaac would like to say, "Hey, Isaac here. Super excited for this TP Rando run. If you had told me back at SGDQ 2014 that I would be working directly on a game at GDQ ten years later, I probably would not have believed you. But here we are. Everyone has put in a ton of work to make today possible, and I'm so proud of this community. Putting this toward the bonus dungeon incentive so we can make an amazing run even better. And just one last thing: Can I get a TPR hype?" Crowd, you got Oi. that? Exactly. Best of luck, everyone. Yeah, Pippi, where does that put us now for getting towards... Oh, I, it just came up on screen, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it out loud. You're doing a great job. I want to hear it. We, we, we're at just over $36,000 out of $50,000 total. That is just a smidgen shy of 75% of the way there. So come on, y'all. We got this. Let's keep it going, gamers. I believe in you. And again, there might be another dungeon in the works if we're able to take out that one. <laughs> I normally would have asked Jim, so what do we think we should do here? Because I should go get that claw shot, but I'm going to get the bow first. Yeah. Anyway, just to delay it a little bit. Because at this point, what checks do we feel like? We've done a lot of our opening route plays. Right. What do we feel like? Where's the sauce at this point? Probably desert. I mean, yeah, yeah because we got the, uh, the hint or the path hint for something good in the desert. We also got a hint, uh, I think it's our first barren hint uh, of the seed here in Lake Lantern Cave telling us that the Great Bridge of Hylia is dead. Oh, okay. That's actually, I think, one of the better foolish hints that you can run into. Uh, just without that wisdom. Oh, I have to, I gotta save the baby. I gotta save the baby while we're here. That's where the bill was. Um, yeah, I think that's one of the better ones. That just ends up being one of the overworld areas that we generally get to a little bit later in our routing process, if not like the dense area we don't touch. So uh, yeah, that's actually, that's, that's good value. Good job, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Isaac. Uh, a lot of the things in this randomizer wouldn't be possible without him. He was the one who got the custom, you know, tunic colors working, uh, designed a lot of the website, and uh, also did the hint system. So, yeah, big shout out to Isaac. Yes, we also need to think, yeah, big shout out to Isaac. I thought people were excited because I was saving a baby over here. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, hey, that's great too. <laughs> Are you saving the baby rod? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I might have accidentally fell down. Uh, oops. Oops. Is that, oh, was that right before check 18? Right before so check 18. how about you just leave with the claw shot and okay. I'll do the last Well, check. okay, actually, there, there was, we did get a hint saying something good past this point. Oh, so, you should stay. So I should stay <laughs> here. Yeah. Was it just the last check in the Poe? Last check in the Poe. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that something good could be nothing. Yeah. yeah, it could be our second bow. Yo, bow two, let's go, yeah. baby. Unfortunately, it can't be slingshot because we already found that. But yeah, could be um, a bomb bag though. Yeah, or a sword. So, Jim, what are you feeling like you want to do after this? Do you want to push the desert and I'll kit up like I don't know, like Lanayru Field, Star Prize One. I can go get my iron boots while I do that. Yeah, I guess it probably depends on what the item at the end here is. Uh, like if, if the item at the end here is a sword, I actually think it might be a smart play for me to go into Forest Temple. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so we can start hitting up some of our dungeons. Yeah, because again, our four dungeons we need to complete are the Forest Temple. 
Lake Bed Temple, uh, Snow Peak Ruins, and uh, City in the Sky. Dude, it is a second bow. All right, well, I got a second bow over here. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's <laughs> less odds you're just going to see one here. Jim, without the ability to have, or without the ability, without a sword, has to be a little careful moving on these, because, uh, yeah, as you saw right there, it is uh, potentially very, very punishing. So I guess I'm just going to come over to the Lake Lantern Cave as well. Yeah, get the claw shot. That's pretty important. Yeah, I'm just going to play a little follow the leader technique, and then uh, we'll split up from there based on the options we have. And that's fun, a randomizer. We don't know necessarily what we're going to be doing today. We are improvising and uh, making up the routing on the fly. Uh, did you water toad pulley it up slash oru's ammo? Uh, I did not do those, no. Okay, yeah. so then we can, I can go ahead and take care of those real quick, just to delay slightly behind them. Another thing you want to do in co-op randomizer, you want to make sure you're not on top of each other the entire time. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and also change it to nighttime. With that, Pippi, as we are figuring out the Zora. Oh, that's okay. very big. <laughs> do I go into Lake Bed without a sword? <laughs> well, we don't have bombs, actually. Uh, so, yeah, 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 you don't have bombs. Like, so you, so like, I mean, I, you, you could if you want. We're feeling extra spicy today. Uh, There's two chests. Yeah, no, I, I think I'll probably push the desert uh, in this case. Yeah, sounds good. We are hopefully going to find a sword relatively soon. Was that from the Poe or the chest? That was the chest. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so chest after the first Poe and then very last chest. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Do you have just a moment for another very special donation? Oh my gosh, I yeah. love every time you ask us. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, then I'll ask more. All right. um, yeah. Here's $500 from Chris is awesome. Woo! Woo. Shout out to Chris. Big shout out to Chris. Big shout out. They would like to say, hey all, it was a bit too expensive for me to come in person. So here's a portion of what it would have cost. <laughs> I, wanted, <laughs> I wanted to donate for this since the Twilight Princess community has been one of the best communities I've been a part of. I've been uh, the TPR scene ever since the beginning. So I've seen the dedication some people have shown and would like to give them a special shout out. TPR wouldn't be where it is today without Lunar and Zephyrus pushing its limits beyond what was initially envisioned. And CP seeing TPR at GDQ, I don't think that would have happened without all the work Isaac has put into the racing scene, coming up with race rule sets, hints, and ho uh, hosting almost daily races lately. Good luck and have fun to Jim, Spike, and the couch. And here's to hoping we get that bonus dungeon and to three million rays. Woo! Uh, there is a PS. Can you pet Howard for me? He's the greatest of all time. If you get good goats, any goat will do. Very nice. Thank so, you so much. <laughs> so for those who don't know, uh, there's the goat minigame at the very beginning, and uh, there's always a goat that doesn't want to go the way that you want it to. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. the TP community has lovingly and begrudgingly named it Howard. Yeah, so the, de the desert here is a very... Oh. Oh, uh, that probably explains that, it. That, yeah. That's yeah. probably what we need, yeah. So, so the item that we just got right there uh, is the uh, ancient skybook. Um, so we have to find the ancient skybook if we want to access uh, City in the Sky, which is one of our required dungeons. So it's good that we found that. Uh, that does technically give us access to the dungeon because we have the claw shot now and two checks in the dungeon because we have iron boots. And uh, I'm going to be very sad if that's where our next progression is because we probably don't want to go there for a bit. I want everyone to know, normally you would just <laughs> take that and just leave. Uh, you do not have to donate anything. But this event is literally a charity event built around donations. So I wanted to give him $100 of our hard-earned money. So shout-outs to charity, everyone. Shout-outs to charity. Support local businesses, et cetera. Yep, yep, yep. Speaking of $100, can, can, I, can I offer you a donation for $100? Uh, speaking of $100, $100. Uh -huh. a word, a phrase I want to hear my entire life. Exactly. <laughs> Here's $100 from the Sound Defense, who says, shout out to Spike Vegeta, one of the most entertaining, outgoing, talented, and all around nice guys I've met in the speedrunning community. Good luck up there, buddy. P.S. Let me know if you need a spaghetti to take home. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we would appreciate it. Sound Defense always gives us the hookup with uh, delicious spaghetti that, uh, that I drive uh, to my wife. We don't have to go through this whole story. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to just, like, break down the whole thing. Here's my address and everything. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to be the uh, same as Jim. I actually am going to use the lantern because, as we saw at the beginning, it is very dark in here right now. Yeah, let's pop it. 
You try to do a little bit of a technique where uh, you can like run the ball up, like kind of up and right from your position. And uh, that will allow you to, uh, oh, is it the other one? We're about to find out. Uh, you can uh, kind of hit it up and right and it'll pop back into your hand. So that's just not as far back it has to go. So this should be the claw shot. I knew it, see, I called that. Whoa, Spike's, right. Spike's just goaded, yeah. And now we got to finagle our way down to the very final chest in the dungeon. Yo, nice, good damage cancel. Yeah, so I'm going to go up here, going to get the uh, warp portal that's up here at the Grotto Mesa, because there is a Poe that we can see up there in the distance. Uh, just kind of chilling out there. And then I will continue my trek of running across the desert uh, to get all these chests. The, the layout of the chests in the desert does make it very awkward to try and route efficiently, just due to the way that they're all spread out, which is why like, I voided out after getting one of those previous chests back there to reset my position. Uh, thankfully, the randomizer does include a boar at the beginning of the desert, which allows us to get that one chest that's behind uh, the fences, which require a boar to break. Otherwise, we'd have to like make the routing even more awkward by going down all the way to the end of the desert, coming back up, and it's just a, it's a whole annoying process. So thank you for putting that there. Yeah, that actually wasn't me. That was a member of the community, Lesgar. Uh, oh, found okay. out that there was a flag and was like, here, boar. <laughs> I was like, thank you. You've saved our lives. I will give more commentary after I don't fall. <laughs> yeah, so this chest is uh, a little annoying without having the sword and the gale boomerang, because this P-hat's on a very long movement cycle um, to get all the way over these uh, fissures here. It would be nice if we had the gale boomerang and the sword so that we could do a glitch called the long jump attack, where we could just simply jump over uh, the fissure there. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Speaking of. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That was clairvoyance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we swear we do not have the spoiler log in front of yeah. us. Anyway, so here's a long jump attack. Wee! 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 No, this is actually the GameCube, not the Wii. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> not what I see. Whoa. Can you play on Wii? Well, okay, yes, we are technically <laughs> playing the GameCube version on Wii consoles, but... <laughs> Wee! 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 <laughs> Yeah, and then we got one hint sign in the desert uh, just up here. Ooh, that's fine. I wasn't even worried. I was a little worried. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I love getting told about checks that I have already checked. Of course. <laughs> do you have time for a couple quick donations? Absolutely. Yeah, do it. Because uh, I have $100 from Megan, who says, tell gymnast I said hi. Can hi, somebody, Megan. Can somebody tell Jim that Megan said hi? Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim! Megan said hi! Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. All right, Pippi, you can tell Megan that I said hi. Okay. Yeah. Megan, Jim said hi. We've done it. I also have $10 here from Fleet Paw, who says, I'm going to really try my best. Thank you. <laughs> you know it's a good impression when two notes in, you're like, I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm going to follow out. So you have found the uh, the sky character that we need in order to get in the city in the sky and our first sword. And then from there, we can possibly decide, hopefully we're going to find a more branching path after this. Yeah. Uh, we do have ball and chain. Oh, it's bomb bag. OK. Bomb yeah. This is very good. Yes. <laughs> so what is so good about this is now we have full access to beat both Forest Temple and Lake Bed Temple, and we can split those up. Yep. Jim, if you could only do one of them, what would you do? First of all, where am I going? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Uh, I would personally like to do Lake Bed. Okay. That sounds good to you. I will go do the Forest Temple. Sounds good. We can start to showcase a lot of LJAs in there. It'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. Go. Oh. oh okay. wow. All right. I think Gerudo Desert was, in fact, way of the hero. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so that's the uh, the Sky character is on the first claw shot chest uh, when you enter in, and then the po the grotto over here with the two pose with the bomb bag and the sword. And then the sword at the other chest that's annoying if you don't have a sword to get to it. Yeah, 
It was this bad boy. Sorry, I was trying to find it. What yeah. was the other thing you said? Where was the sword? Uh, so the, the sword was sword. The, the first sword was at the chest that's really annoying if you don't have a sword to get to it. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> the one all the way at the end. Before you enter Lakebed, uh, you've been issued a challenge by a donor. Would you like to hear it? Absolutely. Right. Let's do it. Because I have $50 from the period. Um, <laughs> Who would oh, like to oh say, boy. Uh, Twilight Princess Coup? Isn't that the plot of this game? Good luck, Jim and Spike. Got a few challenges for you. 50 more dollars if either of you do more feel without Zora armor. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Jim, best of luck. A hundred dollars if Jim does cool game. <laughs> <laughs> and another hundred dollars if either of you Crash on Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so two of those might set us back a little too much time-wise <laughs> to do, though I appreciate the mention of them. More feel without Zora armor. I haven't done that in over a year, but I'd be down to try it for the, the extra 50. It's free. It's fine. It's for charity. Yeah, just don't drown easy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, thankfully, you have two swords, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yes, thankfully, we're not <laughs> fighting Morfield with wooden sword without Zora armor. I don't know if that's even... I think that is technically possible, but it would be very awkward, and I've never done that before. <laughs> While we're traversing, do you have time for a couple more quick donations? Ah, oh, yeah, you can do uh, two or three more. Cool, because we have $50 from Mallow Mart Customer Service Line. Oh, ah. man. Who says... You got a purple rupee, but it won't fit in your wallet now, so let's put it back. Aww. I'm sorry. <laughs> also have $500 from Woo. Ray Storm Thunder. Woo! Thank you so much. Who says, how's it going? Make sure to do a 360 for style points. Good luck, you two, on the rando, and don't forget those valuable style points. Oh, yeah, so as far as other items that we're missing, um, so one of our dungeons is Snow Peak Ruins, and to get to Snow Peak Ruins, we need to fish up the Reek Fish, which requires two progressive fishing rods uh, so that we can get the coral earrings. So we're still looking on the, uh, we're still looking out for those uh, to eventually pick up. Uh, for City in the Sky, we obviously want the double claw shots because that's how you get anywhere in City in the Sky, basically. Yep. Um, yep. And we're also still looking for the spinner. Yeah, uh, which doesn't necessarily lock our access to beating that dungeon, but we will need it by the end of the seed in order to uh, dispatch of Hyrule Castle. And then we're also looking for uh, the Master Sword, which is required to be Ganondorf. Oh, speaking okay. of a fishing oh, rod. Oh, hey, yeah. all right. There is so <laughs> much out here. <laughs> yeah, but once again, that's only the first of two fishing rods um, that are necessary for being able to get up to the Snow Peak uh, Mansion. I did not catch which of these pose had it, so everything dies. All right. Okay. Do you have time for one more quick donation? Of course. Because yep. I have $10 from that one Chelsea who says, let's get that dungeon incentive. More GDQ, more Zelda, more Gymnast, more Spike Vegeta. Yes, please. And we are, in fact, less than $10,000 away from the extra dungeon. So please, y'all, we're so close! Okay, sick. I just want that one. Yeah. And then, awesome. the, and then the, the fishing rod is in the first chest in Bulblin Camp when you get there. Oh, actually, on, yeah, inside Bulblin Camp itself. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got two more checks here at the end of the desert. Uh, this is the entrance to the Arbiter's Ground Dungeon, which is not required, so we're not going to be going in it. Unless you guys hit maybe one of those rolling donation incentives. Absolutely. Again, there are three additional dungeons that I could pull from. The dungeons right now that we don't have to do are Goron Mines, Temple of Time, and uh, the other one. Uh, Arbiter's, <laughs> Arbiter's, Arbiter's, Arbiter's Ground. Ground. <laughs> so the one we're literally in front of. Um, yeah, so any of those three could be added to it. We'll kind of make a call on the fly, which one we would add. But if you want to add a second one, you're going to want to hit that 50000 and beyond. I, I don't know. I'm not on the games committee. They'll maybe decide how much the pricing would be. But let's just get it early so we can make a lot of money for charity. That would be sick. That number has big been going up this whole run. 
Yeah, so since I'm going to be going into Lakebed Temple next, uh, I'm going to be go per or I'm going to go and purchase some water bombs uh, from Barnes Bomb Shop here. Because when you get the bomb bag, it fills it with normal bombs. Uh, we're going to need to do some uh, underwater bombing if we want to beat Morpheal without Zora armor. So I got to go over here and get these. And that's the only thing I'm grabbing over here is just the rod. It's just the rod, yeah. Okay. So again, as Jim said, he's going to be hitting up Lake Bed Temple. We'll be hitting up Forest Temple over on my side and trying to conquer two of our first four dungeons. Yeah, so the, the one of the cool things about co-op is that, especially with the dungeons, uh, the first person goes through the dungeon and basically full clears it. Uh, but then when the second person gets to go do the dungeon, you get to see the really fast version that only involves the checks that are necessary, right. which is really cool. I'm about to make another donation to the bird because we were using, <laughs> normally based on like what you're playing on, you can like up the brightness and whatnot, and you can see in places like the Lake Lantern Cave. But uh, in instances like this, as you said, they are very dark and the lights are hitting it. It's great. Yeah. So uh, we've been going through some lantern oil. So that's uh, another donation to the bird. Somebody said donation. Do you want to hear a donation? Yo, donation. Oh, let's do it. Hondo, donation? let's do it. Huzzah. Because I have $5 for you from the King's Bride, who says, Jim, I've been at the milkshake shop for 20 minutes. Where are you, buddy? For real, though, good luck to both of you. Show Ganondorf the power of the Dominator, TM. And have fun up there. Donation goes to making Jim and Spike do more dungeons. Woo! Woo! All right, so to get into Lake Bed Temple, um, the, the regular way to do it is to basically explode that rock that's blocking the entrance in front of it. Uh, but we can instead do this uh, little nifty clip, which is called Pillar Clip, because you, you swim up into the pillar and you clip out of bounds. Just like this. Whoop. What a magic trick. <laughs> yeah, so that's like a few seconds faster than having to blow up the rock. And then uh, we're actually going to save warp at the start uh, of the dungeon here, uh, because this will actually put us further into the dungeon and we don't have to go through the waterway at the beginning. Anyway, Spike, how's Forest Temple? It was good. We did a cute little warp right there where normally you would not have like bombs, bomb arrows. <laughs> the game does not expect you to have this stuff. So we were able to do a little warp there by blowing up the cage from a distance. Also, let's see, I think I have to aim a little more to the left right here. Yep, that perfectly sails to blow that up. And then I can switch to regular arrows right here and knock down this webbing if I can aim. Heck yeah, we did it. Um, I believed in myself. I believed in you, too. Just Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see if either one of us are able to find anything exciting. So at this point, what are we looking for? We're looking for fishing rod number two, which will upgrade to the... Oh, oh. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I had to explode a wall to get a bomb bag. That's randomizer. All right. Spike, I have a special donation for your current Dungeoneering. Oh, baby, let's do it. I've got $5 from Ook. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Ook says, hey, fellas, you should come see me. I promise I'll be nice this time. I definitely won't keep you here forever. Only 15 to 30 cycles this time. I swear, I swear. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ook. All right. <laughs> I have a suspicion that Ook might have an ice trap. I have, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> that was Isaac undercover. <laughs> this will get him. Yeah, so another thing for dungeons to keep track of is we want to keep track of the small keys that we find. Uh, Forest Temple, it's probably not too... Oh, there's the ball and chain hint, by the way. Um, but yeah, so I have to keep track of where I find my small keys to, so that I can tell Spike where they are uh, when he eventually comes into here. Uh, for Forest Temple, it's not much of a... We don't really have to remember where the small keys are because there are only two checks that are locked by any sort of small keys at all. Uh, but yeah, just another thing to keep track of, as well as uh, the big key, which we need to access the bosses for every dungeon. Yeah, for Forest Temple, we only need up to potentially two keys right now. Same as in Lightbed. Hey, I found both your keys, buddy. Oh, yeah. Um, and each of them, thankfully, only lock one check. So in most seeds, we don't have to get either one of them. Coming into here already with Claw Shot, again, normally you get Claw Shot in Lakebed Temple, where a gymnast is. So this being the first dungeon, it severely kind of breaks open and opens up the routing that you can do with it. Also, let's use that destructive force of the bomb arrows. Bang! And, oh, it whiffed. Oh yeah, second one, we'll trade blows with him. Dude, lock on, please. All right, so now he's dead off of that. Now we can just put the bombs by itself and circumvent a lot of the dungeon. Thank <laughs> you. 
There is a monkey in the background that is stuck behind a cage. So canonically, you are supposed to save him along with three others in order to get to Ook, who normally has the boomerang. But we're heartless. We're uh, in a randomizer <laughs> and we're trying to go fast. So uh, sorry, bud. Does we also say already Ook? have the boomerang. Yeah. I have more donations from Ook. Ook, my man. I, I have a, a $25 donation from Joshy Fe8. Uh, who says, our Lord and Savior Ook left this here for me to donate. Can you both please go thank him for me? Good luck to both <laughs> runners. Thank you for being awesome. Also, the host is factually cool. That 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 can't be right. Yo, Answer no. lots of Yo. hug emotes. <laughs> I'm, I'm only hearing big facts. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Huge doing facts. <laughs> So I got some inconvenient uh, key placement here in Legbed Temple. Ideally, I would have oh. had a second small key by then. So we'll see if, uh, oh, I think it has to be this one. No, okay, well. No, it's the. We have to go down now. It's the poopy one. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's going to be a, a slightly longer Legbed Temple for me as I then have to come down into this room uh, and then get back up to the top to check those two checks at the top of the water wheel. But it'll all be good. Big key also found on my screen as well. Going to be right there on the boomerang lock check. So there was no even thinking about going through this place. All right, can I get the log jump? No, it's so far over the side. Oh, but it was, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Trying to get the, the log roll meta going, but I have to be good at it myself to make it a possibility. Can I share an important announcement? Please. We've hit 86% of the way to the goal. Woo! <laughs> Just for Jim. <laughs> but that does mean we have less than $7,000 remaining. Y'all got this. <laughs> I was so impressed by your generosity. I walked in the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the only other check on this side is going to be Ook, which is also going to put the dungeon in a weird state where it says you've already got the boomerang. So it'll like release some monkeys in some rooms and like uh, get rid of some cutscenes. That'd be great. There's also a little piece of tech that Jim and I are doing all over the place where anytime you want to use, in particular, it's the claw shot, the boomerang, or a dominion rod, you actually want to go into first person, then pull out the item cocket uh, so that it will just cut out that animation of having to like stand still, get ready, and then throw it. You're just instantly ready to throw or shoot or whatever you're doing. And now we've got my boy Ook. There's a number of different ways you can take him out. Uh, first of all, it's a little bit RNG just how he's going to jump around and everything. Hopefully he doesn't dance around too much on us. Oh, bro. Let's go. Send it back. And uh, we're going to take care of that rash right now. Bang! <laughs> Very effective one cycle. Yep. Right, right <laughs> yeah, so bomb arrows are really, really good. Uh, yeah, if you've got that, that's going to be your, like, main damage dealer in a lot of cases. If I don't see the Master Sword by the time I run through this entire dungeon, uh, I'm just going to fight the final boss, the, the boss of this dungeon, now, Baba, with just four bomb arrows, because that's how strong they are. Yeah, game, game really didn't expect you to have bombs when you were in Forest Temple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just climbing up the water wheel here. Uh, I have to activate um, the water wheel if I want to get to the second half of the dungeon, uh, mm. which is where, like, the big key normally is. And all that jazz. Something cool? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there are four keys, because you're intended to have to find four keys to unlock all the monkeys. Uh, in order to get to Ook. So that's funny they put a key there. Um, but yeah. Instead, we're just going to now go to the other side and make our way over to Diobaba. Try to think coming out of this. So neither of us have found anything particularly cool in either of our dungeons. So I'm wondering what our next play is. I don't believe we ever hit up Laneru Field. Star Prize 1 is the thing. Um, uh, yeah. In general, some probably just west of Castletown has not been touched. Yeah. It's probably where we're going to get pigeonholed into, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Why is this guy here? Can you... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's been doing that so often for me lately. No. He has way too much of an opinion. <laughs> it's like, this is my door. You're uh -huh. not getting past it. 
you have time for a couple donations? Of course. Yeah. Because we did have quite a few people donating with suggestions. Suggestions. Sorry for the name of the validation ruby. Let's go. All right. I've got fifty dollars from Kessent, who says fifty dollars for the ruby to be named Spike Ruby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, Ten dollars from the Shaded Master, who says petition to call the validation ruby Pugsy, because what is Pugsy truly? We can give him a purpose. Uh, we also have five dollars from Doodleplex, who says a name for the validation ruby. How about my cat? Because my cat is named Ruby, and yes, he's a little gem. Oh, <laughs> oh, very cute. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, so much. Huge adorbs. So many small. Yeah. Jim doing another very cool strategy there. All the Gale Boomerang strats are very fun. And I always tell people they're very accessible at the same time. Yeah. There's a lot of different techniques for how he's Oh! Oh, so, there we go. so Spike will get to do that one later. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, so that gives me access to City in the Sky. Not all of City in the Sky. Uh, there's still one half of it that requires the spinner that we can't do. Uh, but it is definitely uh, something to consider to do later. But yeah, with LJAs, there's all sorts of cool different strategies uh, or different variations. It's about having them like over a pit. You're going to see one pretty soon for me here in a little bit. Uh, just trying to get it, the boomerang to be above a platform that is higher than you are. Because the game always wants to make sure your long jumps are going to be successful. So they'll kind of make Link like jump from like a pretty good distance away. So by locking onto the boomerang, you can go a very far distance away. And this is something that only works on the GameCube and the TPHD versions of the game. Now, right here, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, same sort of thing. Bang, bang, and he's dead. All right. Ball and chain is really good for him. <laughs> nice little damage boost strat that I'm going to go for right here. Um, I, I don't remember what you're supposed to do in this room. Uh, I genuinely have no idea what you're supposed to do, because I just do this. Whoop! And then, bam, we're up to the chest, so. <laughs> Jim found double claws. I want to find something cool. I've just got more money. At least I got the wallet. I can fit it all in there. I mean, you could go and check Mallow Mart, because we still don't know what's there. Oh, <laughs> that earlier. would be true toxicity. So let's, let's do another LJ right here. We're going to lock onto this uh, torch up here. I just yeah, want to point that out that knocking that goblin down, that was just purely disrespectful. Like, the dude wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Dog, he would have gotten away. <laughs> I do that every time. I don't even care. Claw shot, once again, really good for coming in here. Because there's normally, like, a 17-piece uh, part of movement to get up there. Or you just go, wah, and wah, and you're at the top. We'll go for another LJA here. This one saves more time than you would think. Uh, normally, you have to throw a bomb into the mouth of uh, this plant enemy right here. But that animation is shockingly long. So I'm going to try to use my own visual cue here. I'm going to get right above the chest and go all the way up to that part of the ceiling. Lock on five times, pull out the sword and jump slash. And I fail, but we're going to do it again. That's fine. <laughs> I swear, that one always works for me. Here. Do you have time for one more rupee name? Sure. Yeah, while I'm failing this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got $5.55 from Perpy, the purple rupee, who says, Mom. howdy, heroes. Did you know that I not only validate runs, but also parking? If you're a hero in a hurry on your way across Hyrule and you don't want to worry about paying wow. to park your horse, come see me. <laughs> Thank you, Perpy. We have so many nominees by the end of the day. We have to name it something. Yeah. Like an Ocarina of Time, the single green rupee. There's only one in the game on, like, your base settings. We call that Greg. He's great. I believe that is the green rupee of eternal gratification. <laughs> Whoop! Yeah, and Wind Waker, they have the rainbow rupee, which is Trevor. And I do yep. not know all of the meanings of the letters, but it's a lot. Oh, there are meanings to that. It's I did like not know that. <laughs> rainbow, optional, very valuable rupee or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> there were letters in there. That's all that matters. 
Right, I'm going to be doing another LJ over here to kind of go around this section of the Lake Bed Temple backwards. If you basically, if you're not a speedrunner or you don't do a lot of randomizers, this part of Lake Bed Temple is very confusing to memorize. Uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> but basically, doing that long jump attack allows us to do a smaller loop around the backside here so that uh, we can get all the checks more efficiently. I appreciate that you have backslice and I don't have ending blow. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to get in go mode. So there are seven hidden skills in this game. They're progressive. As long as we find one of them, any of them, we have access to the ending blow. Nice little clip here with the wolf. Whoop, it's great. Uh, it's not even a clip, it's just a shimmy. Um, but uh, yeah, you need to find any one of them because you need it or you cannot defeat Ganon at the very end of the seed. And I. I'm living for the day when we're in ending blow go mode. We can't find any of those seven. <laughs> they're so, all they're all in the treasure room. Oh, toxicity. See how it's getting. Here's Dio Baba, four bomb arrows, bing bang, bing bong, see ya kid. And uh yeah, so that's one dungeon down. Let's go. You don't need anything in there. Yeah, just uh just get the big key and then be on our way. Yeah, you remember where you saw it? Yeah, it was in the, the boomerang. Uh, yeah. What blowing out the torch. Yep, 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 yep. Now you can go talk to Ook if you want. I oh, could yeah. go talk to Ook <laughs> if I wanted to waste time. That is true. Ah! <laughs> oh Wait, hold on, no. Eerie. Hold on. That's okay. It's so on. I'm gonna go to Snow Peak. Uh yeah, that sounds about right, I would say. Yeah. Cause there's no okay. Okay. So we could beat three of our four hard required dungeons out. The only thing we're still looking for, we actually, we could beat all four of them. Jim, shut up. <laughs> Let me talk more. What? <laughs> we could beat all four of them right now. Now, we really don't want to beat the fourth run, because the fourth one, because we don't have Master Sword. But, I will see. There's a million checks in these dungeons. So Ow. we just split up two. Let's go split up two more. Yep. And do a jump down here. Uh, so I can skip actually having to make the water flow down. Because if you just pull that lever, the water starts uh, flowing here, despite the fact that we didn't actually fill up this uh, little basin right here. It's fake. No. Oh. Okay. So you did find something. Yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, each of our dungeons had one thing. I want to give a shout out to the chef, Isaac. Uh, see, it's pretty cool so far. I like it. Now, Pippi, I do want to ask, how close are we to adding a fifth dungeon? Because we're too fast. He's too fast. I'm following along. <laughs> How close are we to having to do a fifth dungeon right now? Just over $5,000 away. Oh we're, my we're, goodness we're gracious. We're so close, y'all. So close. Hey, there's the other wallet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, am I getting these two chop, top checks in Zora's Domain while I'm here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't check anything at the top of Zora's Domain. Yeah. Okay. Then let's do it. Get a couple of checks along the way because we are still missing the Master Sword, um, the Master Sword, um, along with the Spinner, which we will need in order to beat the Seed. And is that it? Uh, I believe at this point, yeah. Unless you don't find any blow, then you'll need to go get one of those. God, that's... <laughs> That'll be raw toxicity, dude. I guess you have in mind the least poopy one I could go get. Uh, well, so yeah, the one that I just found is pretty bad. Um, the I know that there's one in desert, uh, just like in the little camp area. Uh, that wouldn't be oh, dude, too bad I to go and get. <laughs> I should have got that one up there. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like, we're about to open up 600 checks in dungeons. We're good. Uh, what am I doing? I, I haven't gone to get the iron boots. So ah. I'm going to go get the iron boots. Press the button. Yeah, so I just got one more check of Lake Bed here. This is the vanilla boss key chest. Uh, we'll see if it has anything that requires Spike to basically do all of Lake Bed for. Okay, probably okay. not. <laughs> so I guess to review where the small keys were, what's my dungeon layout? So, oh, boy. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, because I know. So I should go downstairs first to yeah. get that other small key. Well, actually, I don't think you... I think you only need one. Uh, I want to say. So you just get the one which is in this room that I'm about to enter. On the, okay, that's the bottom of the one. Okay, okay. Yeah, because then I think you can just LGA over to the double claw shots and then save warp out. Uh, and then, because you you'll be able to get the, um, you'll be able to get the big key with only a single small key. And I think that's all you need. I didn't okay. find anything else besides those double claw shots. Yeah, normally, I mean, you hear this a lot. There's a lot of running around the dungeons you have to do. What's up, cats? Um, it would obviously do like the intended progression, raise the water all the way up in order to get to more fuel. Or we can just do a little bit of a uh, nifty platforming and we don't have to worry about that. What's up, man? Give me the miles. 
All right, so uh, my good friend The has uh, <laughs> challenged me to do Morpheal without Zora armor, so we're going God. to <laughs> take off the Zora armor and uh, drop down in here. So, yeah, Morpheal without Zora armor, it's not something you really ever end up having to do in a randomizer because of logic, uh, but the any percent in all dungeon speedruns uh, do Morpheal without Zora armor. So the tricky thing here, obviously, is there's an air meter that is dwindling down, and if the air meter goes all the way to zero, we die, right? Right. Um, now, very, like, you know, very conveniently, we can get to the bottom here right before the air meter runs out, and the cutscene will refill our air meter for us. Uh, the first phase here is not too bad as long as I'm able to get these hits off. So we can just uh, get the eye. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh come back here. Okay. Uh, and let's see. I need to do this. Uh, as the eye goes back in, I need to then force unequip iron boots. We can get that out right there. All right, very good. Uh, so we're going to be abusing a glitch here that allows us to actually refill our air meter underwater. Uh, basically, if you pull out a water bomb and begin swimming with it underwater, if you try to throw it, uh, the game will ground you for a frame, which can, which is then considered to be out of water and on land, so it'll refill the air meter up for us. And we're basically going to try to juggle refilling our air meter with uh, being able to get the hits in on Morpheal here. So hopefully this doesn't go too badly. We want to wait a little bit, refill our air meter just like that, and then want to equip uh, the iron boots and the claw shots. Morpheal, please get over here. <laughs> oh, I missed. All right, well, that's fine. So basically, I, uh, if I miss there, I have to go back down to the bottom of the lake bed temple here, start another one of these uh, air meter refills here, hopefully time it so that I can have a lot of air. Oh, no, Morpheal. Oh, wait, is she going up? Uh, okay, we should be able to make this work. Please do not eat me. Okay. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be our first hit. Um, to make sure that we can get back down to the bottom of the arena in time, uh, I'm going to force unequip my iron boots again and then put them back on. Uh, let's see. Are we going to get back down in time? This is going to be close, but I think we should be all right. Put out like this, equip over that. Where are you going? Okay, okay, this is looking good. Uh, I should be able to hit the eye from here. Yes, okay, very nice. Okay, so this is the second hit. And then, all right, Morpheal's going down. Can we get the third one? Yes, all right. There we go. Let's go, baby. An extra $50. Woo! I have not done that in a year, but thankfully I remember <laughs> how to do it. <laughs> Gymnast 86, everyone. Anyway, Spike, what are you up to? Yeah, so we're <laughs> out. Of I'm just killing Pose, dude. I was like, I can't. I, I I need to look at my game, but I really want to look at this game. The entire time. Yeah, we're up here in Snow Peak. There's a ton of checks up here, including that red rupee right there. So uh, yeah, we're following the scent. Probably a lot of people ask, like, oh, is this kind of like the haunted wasteland you would get in Ocarina of Time, where if you just know where everything is, you can just bypass having to get the reek scent. It is not. It will void you out wherever you are. So while I'm here, I'm also just trying to take care of the pose. I don't believe it's nighttime, so I do want to also switch over to that as well. Yeah, kind of funny thing about playing the randomizer with pose on is that it's mostly just nighttime all the time mm -hmm. <laughs> because of the fact that we always have to change it to night for the pose. Yeah, let's go ahead and just boop, swap it over now, make sure this pose is actually going to be here up by the tree. Do you have a moment for a couple donations? Of course. Absolutely, yeah. We have $25 from John Silver Demon, who says, let's go, Spike and Gymnast. Also, do you think Yeto and Yetta might be related to a certain urban Yeti? <laughs> just, just a thought. Just a thought. <laughs> I also have $50 for you from Just a Gamer John, who says, hello, Jim. It is me, your fiercest rival and bestest buddy, John. You may defeat the randomizer, but you won't defeat me at Mario Party. Your day is our number, Jim. Put a Jim W at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day I'll beat John at Mario Party. When's Zelda Party? That's <laughs> fair. Y'all is here for that. Yeah, we can keep going with a few more. Ooh, wonderful. I have $5 from Codeman38, who has a knock-knock joke. 
Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Ook. Oh. Ook, ook, ook. Ook. No, 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 not Uku. She's in another room. Oh. oh. I mix that up all the time. <laughs> Why'd they make an Ook and an Uku in this? <laughs> If you have time for another one, we've got a, another proposition <laughs> for uh, our validation rupee. Here's $10 from Allie, who says, petition to name the validation rupee, Valerie. Oh, I kind of like that one. Um, I also have $71 for you from Darstar, who says, Bonus dungeon, bonus dungeon, bonus dungeon, bonus dungeon, bonus dungeon. My voice hurts. Okay. <laughs> we are very close to the bonus dungeon. <laughs> Thank you for hurting your voice for charity. Let's yeah. go. It's for charity. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just getting these uh, remaining checks in the back of the Linaru Spring here, which thankfully I can full clear since I found those uh, double claw shots like that. Hawkeye, let's go. Ooh, let's go, my boy. That's not actually useful for anything. Uh, no. But, uh, <laughs> hey, you can like peek like two checks from a distance or something. That's true, yeah. You can indeed do the zoomies and look forward. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go into City in the Sky now uh, as Spike is on his way over to the Snow Peak Mansion. Um, again, I can't complete all of City in the Sky technically. I might be able to get the boss, or I might be able to defeat the boss if the boss key is not locked behind using the spinner. Um, although I would also like to get another sword upgrade before going to the boss, which is Argrok, because uh, Argrok with the Ordin sword takes like 90 seconds longer compared to having the Master Sword, which is a little annoying. Yeah, for whatever reason, even though casually you would never ever be able to fight Argrok without uh, Master Sword, he has like an armor stat or something. Lunar, you might be able to explain it better than me. Yeah, so uh, like Spike mentioned, so certain enemies have like armor stats or they have different ways that their damage is calculated. And for some reason, Argrok has a armor value of one, which means that the wooden sword actually cannot be used to defeat Argrok because the wooden sword does one damage. And as we all know from second grade math, one minus one is zero. <laughs> so you at least need the Ordon sword. Uh, so normally with Master Sword, it takes three cycles, but with the Ordon sword, it takes five. So that's a little fun time. Uh, we tried very hard to see if we were just gaslighting ourselves into thinking wooden sword wouldn't work, but we sat in a Discord call, and after, like, 67 cycles, we were like, okay, we think this may not actually work. <laughs> Could Maybe you imagine? Not. <laughs> All right, I can make a play. I can go up and fight Argorok, but it's going to take half an hour. <laughs> Yeah, so start of City in the Sky, I didn't really find anything. Uh, there was actually a little technique that I did back there, which doesn't really look like much, but because I opened the door from so far back, the fan that's up here, which is normally supposed to be spinning, is not spinning anymore, um, which means that I will save about 20 seconds later, not having to turn it off. And City in the Sky is also just another really great place for long jump attacks. Uh, here's one yeah. that we do here to save a few seconds. Uh, the bridge that's normally uh, intact here has actually started out broken, um, just to like make logic for the dungeon a lot simpler uh, than trying to you know have to account for if the player goes like goes through and then like doesn't get the chest and breaks the bridge or something. It would be like kind of a little bit of a big mess. Uh, so it does require double claw shots to get over here to this chest, which is not actually something that's required in the vanilla game, interestingly enough. Ice keys, yeah, ice yeah. keys, yeah. kill everything dies today. Except, <laughs> except, how did he not get hit? All right, that's fine. They don't have their little idiots with them. Get out of here, goon squad. God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I'm coming here, actually getting down to the Snow Peak Ruins, our uh, fourth and final dungeon right here. Uh, we're gonna be snowboarding. It's actually faster to be in the air whenever you can. So we'll try to obviously do a lot of jumping as you would imagine off of that, but also doing like quick spins so that you can also uh, kind of extend your time in the air. So whoop and whoop. And we're just gonna be doing a lot of that, and trying to take the fastest path. Uh, you do gotta be a little careful because controlling this can definitely be a little wonky. Uh, effectively, there are ice physics, so. Yeah, so while it is faster to be moving in the air, you can't actually steer, which is a pretty big detriment for these narrow passageways in some parts. 
I don't know why, but you said that and it made me think of like Link holding a steering wheel while trying to. Play <laughs> on my I mean, like Tears of the Kingdom, he just puts the stick on the front of the leaf. Yeah, takes oh, yeah. the steering <laughs> stick out onto it. Yeah. Do you want to take this faster path? I found out, so I had never done the snowboarding uh, against Yeddo and Yetta uh, check until Randomizer. Uh, if you don't go this path, you just like can't beat her. She's really good. Thankfully, I was able to avoid that uh, big Baba back there who's very annoying to kill. And we can begin getting the checks in the Baba Tower room up here, as long as I don't get knocked out by this guy. All right. This room can be a little precarious. Uh, it is very easy to just accidentally fall all the way down again uh, and have to climb all the way back up. Do you have a moment for a few more donations? Of course. Because yeah. I've got $10 for you from Crane who says, hello, GDQ. I've really enjoyed this time at my first in-person GDQ, watching runs, hanging out with my good friends, and donating to a good cause. Jim, Spike, I have a really good view from the back couch. For each bonk, I'll donate $1 at the end of the co-op. I'm so up, sorry. Up so up sorry. to $300. We okay. put a cap on it. Best of luck. All right, cut a check for $300. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is your chance, Spike, to try and roll in like that temple? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to roll up those stairs later. <laughs> So now we've got Snow Peak Ruins. This is, I think, Jim and I, this is our favorite dungeon to try to do any sort of, like, rando pathing through. It's so open, so fun. Another Oh, Dominion. Dominion. Ooh. Ooh, okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting. We're going to start off with a funky-looking strat right here where I'm actually going to uh, equip the boomerang. Uh, let's also equip this guy right here. And we're going to bring this keys down to us. I'm going to immediately turn around, and we're going to try to target onto him. Uh, it's a little bit of a wonky strat. Hopefully, I'm able to hit it. Uh, why did he come to me? Go. Oh. Uh, you know what? Uh, well, OK, we're not going to do that strat. <laughs> uh, I've never seen him move to that position. So we're going to do a different strat now uh, because of that. This is also tricky. You're not supposed to hit this from the bottom floor. So if my positioning is OK, not quite. You got to be able to step as far, because every time you throw the ball and chain, it's going to overthrow. It's going to uh, kind of also push Link forward. So this should hopefully work. And so I need to look for a visual cue here. All right. And that's going to allow us to get up to the top floor out of order. Yeah, this just got a lot worse. This guy, uh, he sucks. Uh, nope. Go away. Yep. Yeah, that Shilfos, uh, because we have to move the chandeliers here, if he uh, knocks you off while you're on the chandelier, it's just big sad time and uh, wastes a bunch of time as well. <laughs> I have not done this casually in a while, so we're going <laughs> to find our way through. I've never seen the keys do that. We have to like, OK. All right, that's fine. We're going to figure this one out together. Everybody get game facts open for me. Yep. <laughs> that's our part in the co-op. <laughs> That's audience co-op. All right, yeah. get them. I would imagine casually you want to get these off speed from each other. Nope, we're going back up. All right, see it. <laughs> if you do want to respawn the keys, you can you can go in and out of the dungeon. I again. was like, can we? Yeah. yeah. Let's, <laughs> honestly, let's do the cooler strat. Let's do the cooler strat. Yeah, as far as my journey in City in the Sky goes, uh, nothing yet. We did find the small key uh, on the Poe Island, if that becomes necessary. Was it the Poe or the chest? It was the chest. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Remember, just don't do what you did last time. Yeah, I don't know what I <laughs> did differently. I'm not going to lie. All right, bring him down, turn around, turn into a wolf. Good boy. Now we're going to target, and now Keith's just Go up there, please. All right, so if this works. Whee! Whee! All right. Yeah. So now we're just up here. Uh, yeah, this check is normally uh, very long. Now we're going to do another LJ. I have to set this up specifically. One down here, and then lock five up here, off center, and then jump slash up there. And that gives us this chest. OK, cool. All right, now let's go ahead and pull the sword. Let's do a late jump slash right here. We're going to do a couple more where I'm going to try to get the the boomerang out of bounds. Nope, that was late. All right, sick. Um, now we can just do the right rule because we already opened this up. 
But yeah, I talked about different variations. There's some where you want to get it up on a platform above you. You want to do one where uh, you get them out of bounds because that's technically over a void, which is another way to do it. And now that we hit this, let's go ahead and boop, 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 put you. Is that due to punk? Let's go ahead and put one more on there. Do we have a moment for a few more donations? Of course. Let's do it. Because I have a hundred dollars for you from 64-bit Link, who says, "Hey Jim and Spike, good luck on the rando run. Make sure not to forget the bazooka. I hear it's in the bonus dungeon." Ah yes. Hey, yo. <laughs> so for good slingshot. If you want to see Link have a bazooka. Uh, you're gonna need to donate for the bonus dungeon, which, by the way, we're less than two thousand dollars remain, or less than three thousand dollars. Sorry, remaining, y'all. Make it happen, gamers. We're we are so playing close. too fast. We're so close. All right, so I only have one more check that I can actually get in City in the Sky here before I have to dip. Uh, it's the chest all the way at the end here, so I'm gonna be doing this uh, really neat-looking LJA. Uh, where I'm gonna do one target there, go over, do two targets here, and then we go one and two all the way down to the end. Nicely done. And let's see, what do we have in the last chest that we can get? And it's water bombs, all right, goodbye. All right, so we are officially <laughs> spinner locked in order to actually defeat Argrok. Honestly, nice, because you didn't have to fight him with Ordon Sword. Yeah, well, yeah. We, we, we don't know about that yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the more precise LJs right here. You have to put them in very specific spots, and then your timing needs to be a little off. Um, <laughs> I, I guess less off than what I was doing. I Do you have time for another donation? Because you've been issued more challenges. Oh, boy. <laughs> <Here. Yo. laughs> Load them up. A promised $50 from the period, who says <laughs> the period here. A few too many bombs, but a deal is a deal. The rupee is Fred, <laughs> frustrated rupee endlessly downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Next challenge for Spike is $25 to do Snow Peak Ruins with Zora armor equipped and not die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Jim, Aralfo skip with Hawkeye for another 10. All right. I'll, I'll see if I can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I have here $200 from Spencer, who says for Yeto and Yetta's honeymoon fund. Oh, that's really cute. We're so close to the incentive, y'all. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, uh, Zora Armor takes 10 times damage to fire and ice. So, if, <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, bedroom key. There's bedroom key. So, uh, we'll give this at least one death. We'll see where it might pop in right here. Yeah, so a normal hit that takes half a heart will take five hearts. <laughs> like, I better be careful, because if you bump into those, you die. Uh, sort of have, like, it would kill um, We would just die. Yo, shouts to Soup. You might, yep. need, you might need some of that with the Zora armor. <laughs> I know, I was thinking, like, should I, like, I don't th actually think I have a bottle. What's up, lady, what you got? Ah, arrow, sick. Yeah, normally where you would get the map in this. Going to set up for another LJA in this X room over. And if you want to get into learning long jump attacks, this is like the one to learn. Ice Block Cave, Goron, uh, uh, Goron Spring Water Rush. Yeah, all, all the Throw individual those on the long pile. jumps are dead. Yeah. That reminds me, I forgot to check the hit sign in City in the Sky. Oops. Oh, well. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, no, something is over there. Yeah. So. Less than 2,500 remaining, y'all. Woo! And again, it's up to us. We will kind of figure out, like, based on vibes, which dungeon we want to do. Uh, yeah, you can just cut through the ceiling right there. You're supposed to, like, break the wall, the uh, the floor down there, and that's how you actually get down to that check. But uh, there's also just a couple pixels where you can shoot through it. So that's cool. Um, you should die. Yeah, I'm just going through North Lanayru Field here. Uh, got about two checks remaining. Thankfully, we got hinted that a bunch of the checks here were dead, um, so we don't have to check those. So we got the Poe that's up here, uh, which is going to be very annoying to get with these two guys here. Let's see if we can manage. Hello. Come on. 
All right, there you go. I actually want to stand a little further back and lock on right here, because you do have to deal with bonk physics. So that makes it to where I can get underneath that platform and uh, not bonk on anything and just like clank off and uh, cry. I don't want to cry. Let's see, so for stuff that we haven't done on the overworld yet, um, we haven't done the Kakariko Gorge cave, I believe. Uh, that is true, yeah. Kakariko Gorge in general is like pretty untouched. And then we also got the uh, all the owl statues now that you found uh, the second Dominion rod. Oh, this is true. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm gonna extra kill stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Again, times 10 damage, everyone. Times 10 damage. Uh, you know, yeah, you die. One little uh, nifty thing is if you have the ball and chain in your hand, you know, you all, you should also die. You, we're gonna, uh, yeah, I didn't say I only hit that corner. Uh, you actually don't have ice physics. You can just walk around as normal, which I might use more of here. Yeah, big shout outs to uh, the randomizer. Not uh, Whenever Link is considered to be heavy in the randomizer, like with the iron boots on or carrying around the ball and chain, uh, Link just moves at normal speed and isn't uh, hampered by any sort of speed oh. increase. <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah, that's a side effect of the fast iron boots setting. So whenever you walk with iron boots, it's normal speed. But then I was like, it was like everything heavy makes you walk normal speed. And I liked it, so I kept it. Do you have a moment for some lovely positivity from the donors? Yeah, of course. do it. I have $50 here from a Sage Zarya who says, matching the periods challenge donation because I'm continually floored by the tricks speedrunners find. Good job, Jim. Also have $86 from Anonymous who says that underwater boss got 86 <laughs> and, <laughs> and here is 86 reasons to make the runners do an extra dungeon. Thank you so much, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to conserve my lantern oil a little bit just in case it becomes necessary for something else later on uh, as I'm going through this cave here. Thankfully, this one's just bright enough that I can kind of see what's going on as we're going through it. I have one more for you. All right. I've got $25 from my Game Facts user. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I've been waiting. <laughs> all right, all right. They said, I looked up how to jump across the chandeliers. <gasps> And yeah. the advice was to, quote, jump across the chandeliers. Oh, thank oh, God. Hope yeah. this helps. <laughs> All right, let's reset. I'll go back. All right, so we got one more Poe in here. Uh, and then you never did the, uh, the great, the, what is it, the, the Farron Field Bridge Chest uh, that requires claw shot. Did you spike? Farron Field Chest? I did not. Okay. Yeah, that's a classic one that always gets left behind. Because it's the only one that hard across can't even peek it without the claw shot. So potentially that's there. We don't have a ton of overworld left to work with. Uh, so we need that spinner. Potentially from there, there could be two swords up in Hyrule Castle, yep. um, which would be our go mode at that point. Are we forced to have to five cycle Argarok? I mean, it's it, we're getting down to the wire on that one, yeah. It's the most scared I've ever been of running through Snow Peak Ruins because uh, when I killed the big freezer and it's like 12 children popped out, <laughs> spider boss. Uh, yeah, I'll third, uh -oh. third bomb back. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't know. They were, they were trying to figure out some reason. I was like, why would people ever take the Zora armor off? It just lets you swim underwater. And Nintendo thought the same thing. And they were like, what if it just kills the player? <laughs> Time, not times two, not times four, times ten damage. What are we doing out here? And it's funny because the math adds up. So if you fall into lava, you actually lose two hearts. And so two times ten is 20. Yeah. So if you fall in lava with Zora armor, it's instant KO. Like, all of your hearts are gone. <laughs> Oh, nice, we got this first try. So I just climbed a ladder, isn't that sick? Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. let's go. Really impressive. Yeah, so uh, what if we just never explain why that was a trick? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what was I? That's fine, I'm not about to do like a combat room or anything, that's cool. I want to catch these two as they drop down. Let's actually just never explain that. We'll explain when you get to it. Yeah. But for now, I climbed a ladder, it was great. 
Yep. If I may, for just a moment, we are less than $2,000 away from that bonus dungeon, everyone. Let's Woo! go, baby! We're making progress, but let's get there. Do you also have a moment for a quick donation? Of course. Ah, uh, sure, yeah. Because I have $25 from Shadow and Cygnus, who says, hey, Jim, hey, Spike. Shoutouts to you and all my other Zelda nerd friends for inspiration and guidance in making the Deku Shield. Let's keep going for yet more Dungeoneering. That's a great reminder that if, when you're uh, submitting your donations to Doctors Without Borders and you're hitting that incentive button to help us get that last dungeon, um, that next dungeon, sorry, we can get more. Um, there's also a ton of neat prizes that you can be automatically entered to win, including a real wood handmade Deku Shield made by the one and only Shadow and Cygnus. It, I got to touch it, it's really cool. It, it feels like wood because it's wood. It's real wood. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you say that sentence again? It's wood. It's made of wood. <laughs> but it feels like wood because it is wood? Is that? Am I here? Okay, yes, that's right. Yes. I love that. that. I love that for us. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. They had it on stage earlier. It's, it looks really cool. What up, Yetta? All right, so now we're going to take the bedroom key in. We're going to uh, fight our... I guess third boss we've seen on screen for y'all. Uh, this first part, so the room we're in is not perfectly circular. Uh, so sometimes you'll get random bounces and you have to react to them, uh, which for me means cry. So we'll just kind of <laughs> see what happens. I generally want to try to move more towards the middle just so it doesn't have, like it doesn't have as much room to bounce off in violent ways. So, okay, keep it in straight, keep it in straight, keep it in. One more time, please. That would be great. Oh, now we gotta, <laughs> we gotta react, we gotta react, we gotta react. As in, I'm waiting for it to stop. That's right, I took out one of the 400 children. It's locked it up. Oh, oh yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage, isn't it? Yep. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay. <laughs> there was a ring of death that was chasing me right there. So now what we got to do in phase two, we're going to try to go for the quick kill. It's got three HP. You're trying to hit it three times with the ball and chain. We're going to try to set up for... Am I going to take increased damage from the damage boost? Oh, no, you uh, are. Uh, <laughs> oh, I am. Uh, are there any hearts on the floor? Yes, um, there should be. People, people did floor. donate. How much health do I have? Are we going to die? I believe nah. you have four hearts. As long as you have two and a half for the damage, then you oh, should be oh, okay, two and a half. Oh, that's all I need? Five. Okay. I so, yeah. Well, all right, well, let's get it first try. Um, so, yeah, there is a way to do a triple hit right here with a very specific damage boost. Uh, we're fine. We're, that's a quarter heart. That's more than you need. Clank the wall to back myself up. Setting up for this. We're then going to get to the side. Oh, okay, that doesn't. Okay. So we're going to go for the one, for the two, two. and then line it back up. Oh, I dropped the input. Can I still save it? Three. Oh! oh. All right, so we're going for the two cycle then. That hit it. <laughs> you would think. Yeah, she, yeah. she disagreed. Yeah, I tried to press the ball, I tried to pop the ball and chain a little too fast from there. So the input got eaten. It was on me, it was a skill issue. I didn't want to interrupt the damage boosting, but we're uh, less than $1,000 to meeting this in incentive, and then I took too long to say that, and we're less than $500 away Woo, from meeting the incentive. Let's go! Woo! Uh, also, I, I have a very special message for you that needs to be read, like, right now. Is that okay? Yep. Yep. I have $100 for you from Yeto, who says, Forget bank account. GDQ. No. Look into eyes of Yeto. Look in reflection of Yeto's eyes. They are true donation. Who need money? Seriously, though, let's have more dungeon and more GDQ for a great cause. Let's Yeto putting orange rupee towards more dungeon. There's less than $200 left, y'all. Thank you, Yeto. That is an extra dungeon. All right, five dungeons. Five dungeons. What and dungeon I do believe is be? there's potential. What's, what do we want to do? Do you want to go to the mines? Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go to the mines. So we'll tack that one on and I, we'll have to wait. I don't know if we want to run something for a six dungeon because we could make that happen. Uh, we, well, we could make that happen, yeah. Uh, according to, to what I'm looking at, it seems that a sixth dungeon is uh, on the table. Oh. Uh, 
uh, chat and audience that's going to run us $7,500 more, for, uh, but we can add on a sixth dungeon to the to-do list. We're going to beat them all, gamers. Let's do this. All dungeons. Let's go. Except for the ones we don't beat. <laughs> May I share one more donation with you? Of course. Yep. I've got $10 from the ladder Spike climbed. Who <laughs> says, Still in a dream, the armor. Woo! So, hey. Is that one or two? That was the first one. Uh, okay. Master Sword. Let's go. All right, now we don't have to do five cycle arc rock. Let's go. <laughs> so theoretically, Ooh. we are a spinner from go mode at this point, gamers. I'm gonna go get that master sword. Oh, just yeah. nice to generally be stronger. And yeah. hey, it's right here. That would be funny if it was just our prize one and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So since you have uh, you have both dominion rods, so I would probably recommend you check the owl statue checks, uh, and we'll see where we can go from there. Sounds good. Uh, I'll go to the rest of the south of Castletown and clean up what we couldn't get earlier. I hope it's the Desert Owl statue. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I mean, Grotto Desert was Way of the Hero. It only gave us 12 items already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's an old adage in randomizers, always clear Way of the Hero. He's like, oh, I already found the thing, right? And it turns out there's like 12 things there. Oh. I'm confused what just happened behind me. <laughs> I heard some clapping. Are we not allowed to just clap for no reason? Dude, just clap! clap. Yeah. <laughs> I like clapping! I like clapping! Woo! It's good for me! I also like dungeons. Oh. Dungeons! I should also dungeons. remember to go check the Malamart now that I have 2,000 Dude, rupees. I thought about it. I was like, did he ever get that? So right here, let's see if we can do another LJA. Uh, we did. Hey, cool. Um, we did the thing. Uh, we know Great Bridge of Hylia is already dead. We know that's dead. Uh, where are the other double dimmings? Yeah, let's yeah, go up. That one up there. Bridge of Elden. This is the classic one you forget, because this one's only locking one, because we did the wolf jump at the beginning of the run that skipped over the second lock of it. But by and large, they lock two checks. That was not the spinner? That was not the spinner. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> that is uh, one of, if not the, just the worst checks in the entire game. In general, have we done much up here in Northeast Elden Field? I don't think so, but I mean, the, the spinner also locks a bunch of those checks. Right. So we're not going to find the spinner in checks that are locked behind the spinner. Unless uh, something's broken, which... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even doing the other dungeons, we have the ability to do all of them, so we're truly not worried about anything spinner locked. Yes, yeah, so there's uh, actually a very well-hidden chest up here uh, in the game. If you claw shot up onto this target and then walk across these tight ropes. Uh, so well-hidden it doesn't even appear. Oh, yeah, oh, there, <laughs> there it goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what the rendering on that one's doing, but yeah, it doesn't get drawn unless you're very close to it for some reason. Listen, I know the fountain has to be dead because it's spinner locked, but what if you backslice to that Yeah, chest? what if we did it anyway? What yeah. if you just did it? <laughs> We're here, we're doing a showcase. Yeah, so the fountain chest here outside South Castle Town, uh, it logically requires the spinner to get to because there's a spinner track that you can uh, jump down to uh, from here after getting this chest. I should take off this sword armor. <laughs> <laughs> I am in a literal volcano. But instead, what we can just do is we can do uh, this and get to the chest. Even so we know cool. It's gonna be useless, yeah. All right, uh, yeah, what else is there? Did you do all three checks at the top of Zora's Domain? Uh, I did not do the underwater Goron. All right, I will go do that thing because I have water bombs. Do you have a moment for more donations? Of yes, course. we do. I have so many for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> we have uh, $6 from Kyrie45, who says $6 train for the sixth dungeon. Seeing two of my favorite speedrunners together still blows my mind. Thank you for the great commentary, and let's get that incentive, guys. Woo! I also have $100 for you from Beninok, who says, show me the bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know where that is? It's random, oh, right? Um, there's no way. It's... Oh, I already got that check. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah there's no way. <laughs> uh, Kokiko Gorge, yeah, let's hit this up. 
Yeah, I get that one. Uh, let's see, because, yeah, I think this, we can't get the spinner track. Uh, we did everything in Orden. Did you we have fishing rod? We didn't fish. Oh, okay, I'll go. Yeah, I'll we go didn't have that then. at that point. I'm going to go make a cat happy. Oh, yeah, get it back to its mama. Yeah, that's Woo! right. <laughs> Most excited any uh, Twilight Princess showcase has ever been for fishing. <laughs> Dude, I love fishing mini games. <laughs> What is the least, I'll, you know what, we'll, we'll put in good verbiage for this. What is the best of the fishing games in Zelda history? Which one makes you feel like, ooh, yeah, I'm relaxed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh. I, I heard a vote for Ocarina of Time. All right, all right. MM3D. MM3D, yeah. I don't think I've ever done the MM3D one. Uh, I disagree on OOT. <laughs> <laughs> Me as I'm straining my finger holding target for 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, and here we go. We're fishing. Woo! Oh, we caught one. Fish on. Oh, and hey! hey. And now the cat is happy. Also, I'm very happy. Less than $6,000 remaining to that bonus, bonus dungeon, everyone. All of a sudden, I can't get all the chicks fast enough. They're just going to keep making us do dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I used that voice. <laughs> Shouts to Sen. Of note for everyone, uh, the bonus, bonus dungeon incentive will close at the end of our second runner finish. Or is our first runner or second runner? Did runners remind me. Just, uh, y'all keep donating. We'll they make keep it. donating. We'll <laughs> they have to it. finish four dungeons first. So when they finish four dungeons, we can tell them how many more they're doing. Make it a lot. Mm, that would be great. Uh, we still got the shell blade grotto. <laughs> oh, that, that, that check is awful. You, uh, honestly, I just thought about the shell blade grotto. You need to go away. Just... Oh, that chest over there is dead, by the way. Oh, have you already done it? Uh, no, it was hinted dead. Oh. Yeah. Did we ever talk about that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, want, just want to keep my bearings straight, make sure I know. Uh, so, yeah, let's go boop, you and you. Four more checks in here. This is a relatively Oh, and I dense... did that, too. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so am Sorry. I just doing Double Dominion Rod Lock stuff? All right, we're going, we're going, all right. So. Stuff, yeah. Okay, that's great. I love when Jim just tells me I don't have to do stuff. <laughs> what if it's the second chest of this tower? <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Uh. Well, oh, right. oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We did skip that earlier. We <laughs> skipped that Kuko Tower. I'm just saying. I really badly want it to be there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to check this first. Because uh, this, yeah, no. this is higher check density, technically. That is the correct play, but it's going to be really funny. Less than $5,000 remaining, y'all. Oh, We're getting there. Y'all are donating so fast. Yeah, uh, shout outs to... Uh, Y'all purchasing tickets for the $6 donation train, it, it feels like spirit tracks in here. There's so many choo-choos. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said QQ? QQ? Q? Sorry, wrong game. <laughs> Those Skyward Sword randomized, though, for the next GDQ. I'm just throwing it out there. That would be sick. That'd be down. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how many <laughs> Zelda games have randomizers. All of them. Wand of Gamelon's in there. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it is an absolute journey of a randomizer. All right, well, I think it's uh, about time for me to go check chest two. <laughs> oh, baby, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I will cry tears of joy. <laughs> no, Just kidding, it's right here. No, no. Uh, it kind of looked like it's well. Uh, so you've done all of Lanayru Field. What do we have left? The desert owls. Uh, the desert owls, yeah. Well, all right. Yo, Time let's to get go. shot out of the cannon. <laughs> I just had a thought of something. Oh, no. Snowboard racing. Oh! All right. <laughs> you know what? I'll make that my next thing. I'm awful at snowboarding, but it'll be great. Either way, there'll be laughs. Laughing, mm. cheering, all of it. Crying. Uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, I want, no, no. Okay, over here. Yeah. 
can, can we clap? Yes, can we clap? let's clap. Yeah. Woo! Can, can we clap for less than $4,000 remaining? Woo! Also for this donation of $6 from the back couch, this is random clapping time! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chest, chest two approaches. All right, let's see. <laughs> Come on, on dude, please! Oh! oh okay. <laughs> I saw something. Big coming out of that chest. Boo, yeah. Boo, yeah, boo. Yeah, can I get some boos in the audience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, thinking about it. Um, oh, we don't have a lot to do. I guess I, yeah, I already cleared Sacred Grove. Uh, we cleared Farron Woods as much as we could. Orton, uh, Village is cleared. We cleared Cat Gorge, Kakariko. You got the Rock Spire chest in Kakariko Village? Uh, I did not. We have not shot up there yet. So okay. Take a peek at that. That and the Iron Boots check. Oh, yeah, I got the Iron Boots check earlier. Okay. Yeah. Man, uh... We didn't miss something, right, Leonard? <laughs> um, I'm thinking right now. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he skipped anything. <laughs> Theoretically, the spinner exists somewhere. Hypothetically. Potentially. Uh, I sent you an unbeatable seed, so <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that hilarious? <laughs> it's right here. This is it. Oh, oh. Oh! Hey! There it is. Good golly, Miss Molly in half. Oh. So I do have to go beat Forest Temple and Snow yes. Peak before I can go get that yes. now, yeah. Oh, I actually need to get, no, I don't need to get water bombs. I don't need water bombs. You don't need water bombs. I don't need water bombs. Who would need water bombs? I mean, unless you also want to do more fuel without Zora armor. <laughs> I, would, I would not recommend doing that <laughs> for your first time on I, the I, I, stage. Dude, we're we're going to have a 45-minute tutorial session. <laughs> uh, so you do, so you pull the bomb. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, I watched you do the whole thing while half looking at this side. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, so we, and we don't need any small keys in Forest. No, we don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do not. You just see the big key from that one chest. Uh, I'm going to get the small key that is in the uh, big bombable stuff. And the big key was in that other chest. Double uh, that yeah. was so long ago. Yeah, so after you unlock the locked door, it is the first chest on the right. <laughs> unlock door, first shot. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the big key. Yeah. And the... Uh, and then double claw shots were... Uh, <laughs> yeah, after you do the chest that you jump on and then do the LJA over the railing, uh, the double claw shots are in the... The further chest that has like the giant stream going through it. That oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So because I don't have to do anything uh, in Forest Temple except get the boss key, I can just clash out my way up here and go get the boss key. Making sure I still have lantern oil to burn these webs. Less than three thousand dollars remaining. Let's go. Get also, uh, Spike, if I may, if you don't want to go do uh, Zora Armorless Morpheal, um, I did get a $30 donation from Mo 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 with an extra challenge. They say, hi, Spike, hi, Jim. I know you've had some tough challenges this run, so how about something a little easier? If the sixth dungeon is the Arbiter's Grounds, I'll give you a hundred more dollars for Stallard's death. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> also, best fishing game is Skyward Sword, which doesn't have one. Oh. That's I, what I like to hear, baby. I, I think they're talking about Bug Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Bug Heaven's a great fishing game. <laughs> I'm being booed. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I continue to not be able to see on this. All right. Also, I just remembered we never found the big key in City in the Sky. Um, oh, yeah, it's on the right side. Yeah, so you will have to go get the small key, uh, I believe. Unless you want to do small key skip, which, uh, don't do that. Yeah, no, that actually looks like the worst track. You found that, and uh, it looks basically TAS only. Yep. Get that wedge. There's a specific line I look for on the ground, and I can't see it right now. Uh, I mean, I can go just get water bombs. I mean, that would be fine. But... Yeah, not being able to see kind of, uh, oh, what the heck. Uh, let's go with... Can you make it daytime? Uh, can you? Underwater. Not, under, not underwater. No, not underwater. All right. There is a specific dot I look for to sit on the ground. This is all right. This one works right here. This is the clip. This is the clip. This is the clip. This is the not the clip. So we're in general <laughs> going too far to the left side. Yeah. Let's try right side, I guess. 
like a little further. Like my, I think my leg, because we need the camera to be up like that, and then generally it's up against the wall. Mm. All right, Jim, I'm going to ask you for your eye, my, my coach, through yeah. all of these TP randomizers. Unfortunately, so I also cannot see because of the blinding light <laughs> in my face. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I, we, I need the lantern underwater. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, we're going to do this one more time, and then I will just go get the water bombs. Yeah, we, okay, well, I, I cannot tell. Yeah, still a little bit. All right, so we're just going to go get the water bombs then. It is so dark. All right, so here I'm going to do uh, the LJAs to get to the boss door. Uh, a little different than the ones that Spike did, because Spike went to the other side of the room to get the chest. Uh, so we just put a target there, and then we jump attack, and then we get to the end. Yay! Yay! Woo! Do you have time for some intrusive train noises? Yes. Because uh, I've got six dollars from Sage, who says, Dungeon 6 train is leaving the station at full speed, and Skyward Sword Randomizer would make my day. I also have $10 from Cucko that says, quack, quack, quack. If we have time for one more, I, I'm so sorry for this, but we have $25 from we have a $25 donation from Nordic the Wolf that says, Nordic the Wolf that oh, says, no. can we get that bonus? Can we get that bonus, 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 dungeon, dungeon? Let's go, Gemnus, let's go, Spike! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Also, yeah, just a quick interesting thing. Uh, you guys didn't hear it on Spike's side because I believe we're using uh, my game audio, but uh, Diababa, the uh, the boss is kind of just not making noises. It's just kind of silent. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's a little bit of a weird side effect. <laughs> Yeah, something to do with uh, like the the music stuff that you guys have had to do for uh, music shuffle. So yeah, just rando dev things. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got three bomb bags right here. We need the setting at some point where the second one just starts with water bombs. Right. Yeah, so this is the intended way to actually blow up your uh, your boulder to get into the Lake Bed Temple. Could have saved that little bit of time. It's okay. We're vibing. Yeah, other than that, we will probably try to start linking in. Uh, I think we're going for Goron Mines first, and I know you were given a suggestion on your sixth dungeon what you might go for. Uh, I'm going to leave that one to you, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I do not have confidence that I would be <laughs> able to do Stallard Skip. I don't think that one is happening, uh -huh. unfortunately. Um, Gotta at least try once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could go through and just try once. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, but... Uh, that was not me putting pressure on it. I was like, I'm not doing it. Yeah. I mean, I do have the warp portal, so it wouldn't take too long to get to Arbiter's Grounds. Um... But yeah, first I have to find the boss key for City in the Skies. We'll focus on that for the time being. What if I tried this one more time now that it's eight? <laughs> I mean, you got this. We believe in first you. First try. Oh my god, it's so lit. <laughs> uh, not Did we clip uh, in and out? Uh, I think that was still like slightly too far to the left. Of the uh, okay, yeah. okay. I won't waste any more time. Less than $2,000 remaining. <laughs> Let's keep the dungeoneering going, y'all. Do you have time for I have another request for y'all. OK. <laughs> yeah. um, I've got $25 for you from Anonymous, who says, to Jim and Spike, can I get your best yeah! as we ride the sixth dungeon train? All right, you first. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I, 
feel like we sounded like an old Barry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are Link's parents. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I also have $50 from Little Dark Sun, who says, gymnast at GDQ with Twilight Princess and a randomizer? Sign me up. Good luck for both runners and yeah! It, it, it gave me a note saying, I, I, in like, in Link's voice, you, you know? Uh, <laughs> oh, I did the thing. I forgot, I thought I, I forgot. Uh -oh. the oh. yeah. <laughs> We were too busy not. <laughs> For a second, I thought you did Cool Game while I wasn't looking. <laughs> no, no, thankfully not. Well, Cool Game is a soft lock. I don't know if I want to do Cool Game, but apparently there is $100 on the table for it. Jim, one more time, where was the double claw shot? Oh, so after you do the LGA onto the railing from the open chest, um, the double claw shot will be in the, uh, like you oh, jump down into the water. Into the water, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's what, the one that's blowing against me, or, or it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Yeah, because we just need to. Okay, so that's the only small key we need right there. Also, where was the uh, Dominion Rod in Snoopy? Was it just in the first room? It was the Poe in the first room. Okay. So you, if you want to, for convenience, you can get the small key on the left uh, statue. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you're doing. You've played this before. <laughs> Would you Once like some more uh, takes on fishing games? I've got fishing takes. Of course, please. All right. <laughs> we got... I didn't know we signed up for this, but yeah. <laughs> We're having some fishing discourse. Um, we got $100 from Crane, who says, I forgot speedrunners don't tend to bonk. $100 for another dungeon to bonk in. Best fishing <laughs> minigame is Wind Waker. You get to shoot the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fishing, we got more fishing coming up here. Oh, Woo. Woo. oh all right, fish on. And hey. hey. So I'm gonna go ahead and volunteer that Phantom Hourglass is not on anyone's favorite fishing. <laughs> because yeah, that gave me issues that I could act for. I may have cried a couple times fishing in Phantom Hourglass, but that's okay. Who is it that was going to donate if we just keep walking? <laughs> <laughs> this is a quality of life. <laughs> for some reason, they decided to make those, like, really, really, you could not roll up those stairs. Nintendo said, no, not in my children's video game. I mean, have you tried rolling up stairs in real life? It I, hurts. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. That I've tried it. <laughs> Man, this is awful. By the way, uh, one, we are 75% of the way there to our sixth dungeon. Woo! Incredible job, y'all. Let's keep it up. Um, I also have $25 from Wig Tall, who says, Dungeon six, let's go. Also, Link's Awakening is by far the best fishing game. That one person agrees. <laughs> <laughs> I played that one. Whenever you inevitably do co-op, you then have to like think through your brain. All right, don't do all those checks. Just dart to these ones. So I'm trying to think through what the process is here. I guess you're going to go down. You're going to jump over. Yeah, I got you. Yep. I just wanted to mouth that out. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, wait, let's just jump down here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just making my way up to Snow Peak. Oh, we, uh... You can LJA You that. can LJA that. Oh, you can? I'm oh, my up. God. All right, let's walk. All right. <laughs> that poor guy. Nice jump scare. But I say, yeah. am I just putting it above this? Oh. Uh, yeah, should work. Yeah, All right. Let's... All right. Oh, yeah. I see, I that's, see. That's the first one. Yep. And you can't just make that, can you? Uh, you know what? Throw it up there. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Spike got the other LGA variant, the little jump attack. <laughs> Wait, then, what's, then what's that second one? Uh, you, we are live learning this one. All you, right. you can do two targets above the, the overhang and then just do two LJAs in a row. So just match oh, A. I'm fishing off the edge of a ledge. That's not where the fishing rod goes. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do an LJA over here. <laughs> 
Um, so because I know that I don't have to come back to Snow Peak, uh, I can skip fighting the Shadow Beast there uh, and skip having to do all that. It does come with the caveat, though, that now I have to do snowboarding uh, somewhat blind because the uh, render distance is turned way down. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just have to make sure that I be careful to not fall into the void. Do y'all have time for more hot fishing takes? There's so many. Real quick, I'm putting two up there. Uh, maybe a little higher. So a little get, higher? Yeah, yeah so yeah. get rid of those two and then go a lot higher up. Oh, like here? A little bit further down. A little bit further down. <laughs> All right. Uh, God, the live tutorial. How about there? That should be good. All right, let's try it, baby. Woo! Let's yeah, go. Let's go. easy. Ah. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Wait, do it again. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I got another <laughs> LJA right here after let's let these guys drop down. Oh, I probably want to open this. I guess it doesn't really matter. But we need to get up on top of the chest. And this is one where you need to throw it out super quickly. So boom, boom, over to the side. We're going to lock on once here. Pull it out. And real quick, jump slash it. Hey, we're good. All right. Now let's read some donations. <laughs> Perfect, because I have a very special donation for you from the Yeti. Let's go. Hey. I wonder if it's Yeto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they donated $10,000. And they would like to say, hey, all, Yeti here. We have a special message from Miski, one of our tea artists who has been contributing designs for 10 years. She says, I've been doing GDQ teas for a long time, and it still feels incredible to be able to contribute through my art and be able to give more than I ever could on my own. I also love that I can help highlight indie games in my own way via design collaboration. I got into speedrunning through GDQ, and even though I'm mostly just an enthusiast, without exaggeration, it's genuinely changed my life and ended up introducing me to some of the most important people in my life. So it holds a special place in my heart. Thank you, Miski, for all your amazing art. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You so much. Woo! Also, uh, just a quick aside, by the way, we're less than $1,000 away from a sixth dungeon. Let's, let's go, baby. Let's keep this rolling. Oh my God, there's so many trains. There's trains on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have time for more fishing takes, by the way? Let's hear them. Because uh, we have $50 from Anon who says, my hot fishing take, show that fishing rod to Ganondorf and show him what for. <laughs> sure, why not? We'll show Ganondorf the fishing rod. <laughs> We also have $30 from Not An Expert, who says, my favorite fishing minigame is the one from Breath of the Wild. Bums away! <laughs> uh, I'd also like to point out that we are um, about $5,000 away, ooh, now less than $5,000 away, <laughs> from $1.1 million total. Let's go, baby! Keep that train rolling! Yeah, so I'm just going through Snow Peak. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up the boss key and then head over to uh, beat Blazetta. So I don't have to get any of the other checks that Spike had to go and check. Um, uh, so yeah, it should be pretty short for me since the bedroom key is just over here. And I am fighting Morpheal right here. Again, the big thing you're trying to look for is as Morpheal bobs up and down, you can force unequip the iron boots by going into the menu and just putting anything else in that slot. And that should cancel out the animation of Link flipping up and down and it knocking you off. And you should hopefully be able to get a quick re-grab. There is some randomness of how it bobs up and down that I have to react to. We'll see what happens. It's not easy. But either way, he a fish, we're going to try to kill it. She a fish, we're going to try to kill it. Is this a fishing mini game? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think you can pull out the fishing rod during this fight, so maybe not. I mean, I, I have some obscure TP knowledge that technically this could be a fishing mini game by because there's a glitch you can do. Uh, it's also used for Stellar Scope. It's called Claw Shot Actor Displacement. <laughs> And if you land on one of the pillars and fall off on the same frame you grab more feel, it actually pulls her to you. Yeah, so I, I, can't, I, I can't argue with that one, actually. So technically fishing minigame. 
All right, so this trick that Spike did earlier, um, this is actually a trick called the oh. last freezer skip, where normally this freezer is supposed to continuously uh, fire the ice stream at you so that you oh, can't yeah. get up there. Um, but uh, it was discovered that if you actually trigger the freezer to begin attacking and then drop down on a very specific frame down the ladder, you'll instead get an attack that does actually end and you can climb back up the ladder and get up there, which skips having to do either a really stupid long jump attack or having to use like bombs and fire cannons throughout the whole dungeon. Yeah. And unlike in vanilla, you can do that all with one ladder climb as opposed to having to drop down a second time to regrab again because of how fast you climb ladders. Shout out to faster ladder climbing. It's so nice. <laughs> so at this point, uh, I mean, I could go up into City in the Sky. Where did you say the small key was? It was on the Poe Island in the chest. Yeah, it was on the Poe Island in the chest. So that's, I think you would want to go backwards. Yeah, I was like, one. I think that's a reversal we could pull. Um, otherwise, I guess I could go to Goron Mines. It depends. Yeah. What are we doing? What are we I, th doing, I think Jim? we should beat our required dungeons first, first and then, and then, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. The extra, yeah. Less the than extra $500 yeah. to a sixth dungeon. Oh my god, they just keep they just keep ordering up new ones for us. Y'all, let's take all their plans and let's throw them into the fishing hole. Y'all, you own built-in crowd control. Oh my god. I have it here. We're hopefully going to get the one cycle. So we do one, two, and then readjust. Let's three. go. There you go. Easy. Very nice. Yeah, so let's go. The last thing that I hadn't picked up yet, you have your spinner, correct? Uh, no, because I just got oh, the okay. Dominion Rod in here. Oh, that's right. You would, yeah, 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 yeah. So Jim's got to go get his spinner. I got to go get my Master Sword here on Star Prize 1, little mini game. It's cool that we got to showcase this in it. There's a lot of optimization. You put a timer on anything in a speed run, people will optimize the heck out of it because it gives you that immediate satisfaction of how fast you're going compared to everybody else. Uh, so yeah, people have optimized this uh, to a nutty degree. Just like all the different movements you can do to snag all of them very quickly. Yeah, all the different variations of what strats there are depending on what items you have. Uh, it's very cool. Hey! Do I have claw shot on? Yeah, I surely do. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's a sixth dungeon oh for my goodness! <laughs> Look into eyes of Yeto. Their true beauty. Is there a sixth dungeon in eyes of Yeto? Who need mirror? Instead, we have six dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim. Aww. How much do we need to get to for you to do Palace of Twilight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that would require both going through Arbiter's Grounds also. Oh, man, we get like 12 dungeons. Yeah, you, you could do great. Stallard Skip and then do Palace. <laughs> and you need a fourth sword for that. And we'd have to find the fourth sword for that, yeah. It might be in Palace. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla Light Sword? Oh boy, I don't think I, I've never done Palace of Twilight in the randomizer. <laughs> it's fun. You should try it sometime. It, it's very different now. Yes. Just a reminder for everyone that uh, while we have met two whole bonus dungeons, we are also still less than $4,000 away from 1.1 million, Want which is it. incredible. And also, there's more incentives that haven't been met yet. So um, that we have less than $8,000 away from a bonus any percent run of Animal Well. Um, and th th yeah, th we can keep going. Yeah, so right here to actually break the trigger for this fan, I'm sort of inching up to the point where now I should be able to just press A with Wolf, and that skips over the trigger for this fan. We saw it with Gymnast earlier, but I'm going to extend the benefits of being able to do that. With now I can do this whole left side of the dungeon in reverse. So now I can just go up here, and there would normally be a fan going off above us, but it's just all that's where I should have checked beforehand. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> That. Oh, we can oh. Yeah, I can still do it. Yeah, I was about to say. 
Uh, yep, that's right. We learned this just for him. All right. Uh, let's drop off and do like a jump slash. Yeah, that's great. All right. Um, yeah, so now I can go through it in reverse because all I really care about is this small key. Yep. If I may also draw your attention to um, not only do we have that Animal Well any percent bonus run incentive that's less than $8,000 away, but we have just opened up another incentive. Hey, y'all, do you like Zelda? Like Zelda games? That, yeah? Yeah? We, we, we're above lukewarm on Zelda games? Something like that? Um, because we have opened up the bonus game for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ooh. Which... If you want to see more Zelda, that's going to be $100,000. And that's a lot, but I know y'all got this. I went the wrong way. Oops. Muscle memory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard. <laughs> Shoutouts to going the wrong way. All right, now I do have the spinner, though, so I can actually form the bridge up here to get to the last few checks in the dungeon, which have to have the big key. I guess we'll see if it's on the Aralfos chest or not, and if uh, the period has to donate $10 again. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, Jim and I are going to... This is the only reason I threw out the Goron Mines thing. I was like, we are going to be pretty much right next to each other, so hopefully we'll be able to get to hold hands walking out of the dungeon, and then each of us have to do our fifth and sixth dungeons. Now, both of us had to complete our first four dungeons in order to actually gain access to beating the seed, but for the purpose of the incentive, we're going to make just one of us have to be each of the other two. So right now, I, I, I think I'm committed to doing the Goron Mines, and Jim is committed to doing one of the others, which would be between Temple of Time and Arbiter's Grounds, I think he's projected which one he may like. We'll have to see as we get there. Did we read this? Sure. There's nothing to be found in Linnea Spring. Did you do anything there? Uh, I did everything there. Oh, well. All right, you <laughs> wasted all your time. Cool. <laughs> yep, come on. So this chest right here, you're not supposed to be able to get from the top, uh, but with some double claw shot aiming, uh, we can get over here just like this. Get this one down here. Not boss key. This is like 400 presses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have time for a couple of more fun donations? Absolutely. Sure. Wonderful. Because uh, in, in honor of uh, our link noises, we do have $6 from Link Likes to Bonk, who says, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more dungeons equals more bonks. Less than three. That was my best attempt at uh, following the instructions. Yeah, bonk, ow in link voice. <laughs> <laughs> ow in link voice. <laughs> What's up, Jim? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> now nah, you keep reading donations. Oh, wonderful. To be yeah. silly. Uh, I also have $100 from Casey, who says, I think I speak for everyone when I say Twilight Princess low percent when. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and the entire week of GDQ <laughs> be low percent. Yeah, so we only got three more chests in City in the Sky that could potentially have uh, the big key. We gotta get through this room, then go through uh, another Uku flying room. And then if it's not on either of those two checks, then we are gonna be fighting the mini boss. Fighting. Wow. Well, yeah, it's fighting. <laughs> the theoretically, yeah. That is a word of all time. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, he's gonna do it, yep. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm not going to try the jump slash there. There we go. Yeah, so again, that was the first time. The reason why I failed, if you ever wondered, why do some of these not work sometimes? I needed specifically it to be over that void. That's what triggers the ability to go as far as we do. Nope, not on that one. 50-50. Can I 
interest you in another hot fishing take? All right. Oh. Uh, oh. We are. Let's go. Okay. There are some questions to be had here. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, do you have a shield? No. No. Okay. We will be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I, I will also fight. Okay. I have learned one way for how to fight this boss, and it was definitely with shield bash. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I know how to generally defeat the boss, but uh, we'll get there. It'll be fine. We'll have a good time. Go ahead and give us some fishing. I'm going to learn how to fight this boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, because I, I have... First of all, $25. Whoa! Whee! Whee! Here's $25 from Flimbob84, who says, Twilight Princess, best game. Twilight Princess, best fishing, which is a very sound take for, for a Twilight Princess speedrun. We also have $15 from Anonymous, who says, Hi, Time Traveler here. Echoes of Wisdom has the best fishing minigame by far. Mm. Spoilers, mm. wow. <laughs> wow. Actual Nintendo representative in the donations. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Were they doing back in time? <laughs> All right. So uh, we got to the Aralfos here. Um, I'm going to try to do the what's known as the Aralfo skip uh, with um, the Hawkeye. I have no idea what the visual cue for this is, uh, but I guess we're going to be trying it anyway. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that looks good. No, that's too low. All right, we'll try this a few times to see if I can figure it out. Um, I actually know what the visual cue for this is on the HD version of the game, but that doesn't really help here, so... <laughs> we can go Wii a few more times. <laughs> All right, so we needed to go a little bit higher. Uh, something like this, maybe? Oh, no, that was uh. a little too high. We're narrowing it down, though. Wee! <laughs> Spike's gonna do the actual fight. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see if we remember. How, okay, yeah. So, because that should bring that up, and now I can bring in the ball and chain. Ah, that was still too low. All right. Well, I guess we'll probably just try to do it the normal way then. I, I don't want to spend here trying to figure out what the exact pixel to line up <laughs> for for that is with the Hawkeye. <laughs> All right, I'll donate $10 to make up for that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Legend of Zelda runners paying their taxes. <laughs> anyway, this is what the actual skip looks like. And there it is, the city in the sky, big key. Do I learn that live right here? <laughs> there, there's a setup I could teach you right now. <laughs> setup? Un unironically? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Iwabi made a setup in February for this that's pretty easy to, to just learn. Okay, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do have to reset the room. <laughs> so fall, fall and void. Oh, okay, I see. Sure! <laughs> Live learning here at GDQ. I should, you know, I should, I should put these on. <laughs> okay, so iron, boot, we, iron boots off. You fight in this. I, iron boots off. Okay. Slash, 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 stab. Stab is A. Or... It's forward and A. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so ne neutral first three slashes hold forward for the fourth slash. Yeah. All right, we're going to go yeah. neutral press A three times yeah, it, and then forward and Yeah, a. you, you want to do the combo, so three slash combo stab, stab finisher. All right, take off irons. One, two, three, four. Turn around. Turn around. Uh, C up. Uh, look straight up. <laughs> and then you're going to item wheel buffer. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this, man. Right. Uh, excuse me, uh, we interrupt this tutorial to bring you an important message about the fact that we have hit $1.1 million for charity. Uh, personally, I think that deserves a wee! wee! Thank you. All right, so one, two, three, four, and then we're going to turn around. I'm going to see up, okay. And then go aim all the way up and open the atom wheel. Okay, all right. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> aim up, aim all the way up, item wheel. Okay. Yep. One, oh, wait, you got to take these off. One, two, three. That's not going to work. Turn around. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, no, we're gonna do this, all right. 
Okay. One, two, three, forward stop. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Bar, donate. Can, can we get a Wii train and change? Right. <laughs> One, two, wait. Two, three. And then, no. Oh, but it's with the A. Wait. This A's just. It's all gators. <laughs> P button. P button. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Swing with A. <laughs> Pull the sword. One, two, three. Four. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, that's. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. You got it. Can you, you do it? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm a visual learner. All right, yeah, and you turn around, you see, you go all the way up, you see so, up. Yeah, we're gonna try an item wheel buffer this. Spike, have you ever done an item wheel buffer? <laughs> I've never done an item wheel buffer. <laughs> okay, that's the frame you want. You can tell by the little overhang in the bottom left corner. All right, you just keep doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna hold C up, we're gonna close the item wheel, press A three times, and claw shot. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> I did it! Whoa, Whoa! It's the big key! <laughs> Wee! -hee -hee -hee. <laughs> time for two Argor Rocks at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that was why we did that so we could stagger this. <laughs> do you also have time for a quick donation? Always do. Because I have $4,000. Oh. Oh. <laughs> From the Yeti, who says, hey all, Yeti here. Here's $4,000 for the four horsemen of Link Sounds. Thank you. Can anybody tell me oh, what? Uh, $100. Let's, Let's go. go. $100. Cool game. Cool game. <laughs> what yeah, is so, yeah, so uh, this is a soft lock. Um, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't let go of Argrok. All I can do is target the tail, and uh, yeah. It's okay, though. I'll catch back up to Spike. <laughs> yeah, you will. So I want to see if uh, he eventually moves, because you can't just kind of fly around the arena with him if he eventually goes away. Yeah, man. This is a very cool game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think he's going to fly around, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah. Ooh. Extra $100. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for the charity. <laughs> it's all going to a good cause. Yeah, so these are pretty precise where you got to place each of these claw shots to actually get Link to go up on top. Now we're going to shimmy to the side, and we're going to try to set up for this. Let's put... Into a double. Can we get it? Oh, cool. Yeah, Let's go. Easy. Something, something, stop glitching. <laughs> <laughs> glitching in my. in my randomizer. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Close. Didn't quite get knocked into the void there. It's a pretty tough claw shot right here. We'll give it a shot. And why not try there? Okay, cool. Now we can switch over to Iron Boots. Because we wanted to drop down with them on so we can try to catch this earlier cycle. And catch this guy. Okay, sick. Yeah, a lot of what they did here is you have to anticipate the shots a little bit. You got to lead them. Do you have a moment for a couple of very important donations? Of yep. course. Because um, I have $25 here from Sharknado, um, okay. who says, you guys have it all wrong. Clearly, the best fishing minigame was in Link's crossbow training. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it actually has one. So, uh, uh, so few people have played that game that no one can actually fact check if it's even, it even has fishing in it. <laughs> can any of you audience? I can, so I think what they said is true. I, no one just, <laughs> no one lied. <laughs> I, <laughs> Give me a, 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 a yippee if you have actually played that game. Oh my mm, god! It's like 12 I, lives. I, I, I disagree. Uh, <laughs> that's way too big a number. Uh, may I also share with you, I have $5 from your game console. Oh. Yours. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, and it would like to say, whee! Whee! <laughs> 
Nintendo Wii. I hate that. Wii. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, yeah, Spike, don't do the thing I did that is not faster. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I did not download the tutorial for that one. So Ardrog is one of those bosses, when you first start playing this, uh, he takes forever. You're here for, like, an entire lunch break. Uh, but there's actually a lot of ways to speed him up, including right here. He's supposed to be able to fly back around the arena a second time for this phase one. But based on your camera manipulation, I can hopefully really quickly get a re-grab before, before he gets going. Okay, nice. So that speeds up phase one quite a bit. <laughs> you know what? I could keep talking. This is such a long cutscene. Please read like three <laughs> donations. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, exciting. I love to read in donations. I've got $5 for you from Sky Bills. Hey, what's up, Sky? Uh, we would like to say, hey, Spike and Jim. It's fantastic to see y'all on the big stage running Twilight Princess. I'm so thankful for y'all's friendship. Spike, it's almost been 10 years. When did we get so old? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything y'all have done for the community. We're lucky to have you. Thanks to staff and volunteers for all your hard work. I miss y'all. Love, Sky Bills. Love Less you, Sky. Than three. So now going into the phase, so people have found ways to speed up this fight by a good, like, minute or so once you get here. Uh, right here at the start, Jim and I are both going to be immediately actually jumping off because that's going to just get Argarok to spawn sooner in the middle of the arena. So take off Iron Boots just so we can have more momentum behind us. Really Whee! just, I ruined some of day <laughs> down there. And now we're going to put back on the Iron Boots. I'm going to be listening for very specific audio cues right here to know when I'm going to try to go for an Argorok animation skip. So try to go up here in two shots. Spike's doing the gamer lean. OK. OK, so what happened right there is, effectively, he thinks he hit us with the flame. So that's an immediate early first hit right there, a first set of hits. We're going to do the exact same thing on the second cycle now. And then third one, we're going to switch it up just a little bit. But same, same premises. We're going to try to get up on in two claw shots. Whee! <laughs> Whee! And you got to move fast, otherwise he starts roaring. You don't want that. Oh, it's over here. OK, so we're going to go ahead and drop off just so we can reset this up. which of these it was. So we listen for the roar. Lock on. As soon as I see the flame, push down. Claw shot up. We have once again tricked his AI into thinking he hit us. Go a couple more over. And so for this last one, we're actually, I don't understand. I don't, Lunar, can you explain how this works? Why this works with the guy? Do we have any idea? <laughs> um, well, you see, <clears throat> Dragon Go Burr. <laughs> it's going to be some weird manipulation here where by taking the Iron Boots off at one point. All right, so I'm going to go four over. One, two, three, counting. This might be two. That's great. And then we're going to put the Iron Boots on right now. And by taking them off, he's like, what happened? Oh, I screwed it up. That's right. You can watch Jim's side. He can show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take off the Iron Boots, go uh, three P-Hats over this way, wait for him to, or wait for the flame to eclipse the last P-Hat that we just shot. Put on the Iron Boots, go down. Uh, Argrok's now going to turn around. We take the Iron Boots off after he begins shooting, and then that cancels his shooting animation, and we can flush on to him to get the last hit in quickly. And now we have even more time for donation. So much time. Ooh, I love that. I have $759 from Jub Jub. That's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, claps for that. Uh, 
They would like to say, from a fellow bonus game runner, I learned how stressful watching that donation goal can be. So here's my drop in the a pond. One dollar for every kill in my Wrath of the Machine run. And reminder that we actually have two bonus games open right now. We're, we also have that bonus any percent run that is less than $7,000 away. So if anybody has some, some time to spare to click on that little incentive button, we'd, we'd love to see that get met. Do you also have time for one more? Uh, um, yeah. Because yeah. we have $100 from the period um, <laughs> who says, Pretty cool game. I'll match the $100 <laughs> Stallard skip incentive. Oh. Donating towards Ocarina of Time. Ganon Floor is really cool, trust me. It really is. Yeah, so we have reached the point where we have each done simultaneously all the things we need to do to go beat the sea. We can now go to Hyrule Castle. But because of y'all's generosity, we got to go beat two more dungeons. We're each going to pick one and we're going to go. I'm going to Goron Mines. I guess I'm going to Arbiter's Grounds. Uh -huh. Woo! I have to give a shout out to Isaac for like, you know, going through, like, we gave him like preferences on what dungeons we wanted to see. And now we're just doing all of them anyway. So <laughs> thanks for betting one with all our favorite dungeons. Yeah, so for our dungeons, all we'll have to do, well, all I'll have to do is find the boss key. Um, Spike is gonna actually have to find three separate pieces of the boss key because yes. he's doing Goron Mines. By putting on the iron boots and then mashing out a jump slash here, you saw on his side as well, you can land on the bridge and cut out a lot of the uh, the swing around in the water that's so slow. Best of luck, Jim. You said how long has it been since you've done this skip? Uh, over a year and a half, but it's also, <laughs> it's it's basically the hardest trick that you do in any speedrun of Twilight Princess. I don't remember what the setup is, so it, All right, sick. if it works, it's gonna be by some miracle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, generally they say, you know, like, make sure you practice your speed runs before you uh, do them up at a GDQ. And uh, I've learned at least, like, three strats since we've been sitting here. <laughs> Jim is about to do something that uh, no one should ever go for, and you're doing at least in a randomizer, and uh, you have not done it in a year, so this is great. <laughs> GDQ improv done quick. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Styler, Styler Skip is specifically something that never should be... Uh, <laughs> it should never be faster to do in the randomizer, because if you're beating Arbiter's Grounds, you still need to beat Styler to get the dungeon reward. Uh -huh. But of course, you know, we've set up the perfect scenario for Styler Skip to be shown off in randomizer, except, I'm, again, I'm not going to get this, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's quite a cock, Jim. <laughs> Uh, yeah, each, uh, Spike and I have each entered our respective dungeons. We're going to be going through them. Uh, Arbiter's Grounds, for the most part, uh, we do, even if the boss key is in, like, a very convenient location, I still will have to do a decent chunk of the dungeon because uh, I do have to get uh, four post souls uh, to open up the second half of the dungeon. Uh, or at least I have to specifically kill uh, four posts to open up the second half of the dungeon. They do have mm. random items in them. Hey, that, okay, that speaks well. We've already got one key shard. So we need three of those in order to beat the dungeon. Uh, let's drop down here and go for the LJA variant of this room. Let's put it right above this guy. That'll lock him over there and then jump slash. Man, I really want that dude to get destroyed. Right there. <laughs> it usually insane. does. By the way, the scroll wheel in uh, Twilight Princess, I love that item menu. It's really fun because, like, in one to two inputs, you can get to every single item in this. I know because of key logic, this has to be a small key right here. One of the first two always has to be. So uh, we'll see. It would be nice to speed up these bonus dungeons. We at least got the three key shards early. But the odds of that are pretty low. Yeah, with Goron Mine specifically, just because you need to find three pieces to get the boss key, uh, it's it's pretty common that one of the uh, that one of the pieces will end up in the second half of the dungeon. Do you have time for a few donations? I got time for one. Yeah. One. All right. We got twenty-five dollars from Advo. 
who says, a few years ago, I watched your Wind Waker race versus Linkus, which got me into the community. And I even met the, the love of my life and have my wonderful daughter because of it. So thank you, Jim. And thank you, GDQ, for changing my life. Aw. It's really wholesome. Love you too, Advo. <laughs> All right, so right here, uh, I'm going to be doing this uh, little bit of a finicky trick called Poe One Skip, even though we already got the Poe, but uh, normally you'd skip, you'd skip the first Poe. All right, there we go. Just a little jump up there like that. It's actually a lot more finicky than I made it look. I don't know how that worked, <laughs> but uh, we made it work somehow. Yeah, it's a little bit weirder in Randomizer because of fast iron boots behaving differently with sand. I clipped. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hear it for the clip. Let's hear it. All right. So we have got, so you're just looking for your boss here. I've never even seen this before. I don't know what you're about to do. Yeah, so this is currently just the path to get to what is normally the fourth Poe. Um, the reason this saves time in a speedrun is because you can actually get the Poe sent in the dungeon from any of the Poes. Um, normally, though, they don't expect you to be able to get to any of the Poes uh, until you get the scent off of the first one. Uh, but with that little finicky jump that we did in the previous room, we can get to the fourth Poe and get the scent off of the fourth Poe, uh, which allows you to then skip the first Poe because for some reason, the gate to the second half of the dungeon only checks for the second, third, and fourth Poe, but not the first one. Because reasons, I guess. That's just like 3D Zelda flags in general. Everyone always talks about how as long as you get the shadow and the spirit temples done, that's all the game really checks for for uh, being able to gain access to like the light arrow cutscene and everything. I'm sure it's simpler from like a coding standpoint. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of uh, some RNG manipulation that we're gonna try to do here with this Poe. So depending on which direction we get. Okay, so this direction I do nothing and he should begin spinning around immediately. All right, very good. Uh, sometimes the Poe can just kind of like dally around Link for a while, uh, which can get kind of annoying. Which he looks like he's actually, okay, there we go, finally. And then we got this one over here. And so this is the second of the four Poes that we need. Still have not found boss key yet. I do feel like we need to point out, if you play Twilight Princess casually, this is way faster than you would normally be with <laughs> Iron Boots. It was like probably day one, they were like, all right, we're going to make a TP rando, and uh, that's not going to move that slow. So actually that patch came pretty late. Oh, what are y'all doing? <laughs> well, so we found it at first, but then it caused issues with Argorok, where you would hang on the tail and nothing would happen. So we had to do more science, and mm -hmm. Decomp really helped out with that. Yeah, that's a extremely good quality of life. I don't think I would like Goron Mines that much if we had to move, like, at an inch per second. Get out of here. Do you have time for more wheeze and other things from fine donors? <laughs> yeah. Up to you. Mine, yours is a lot, oh, lot more complicated. Wonderful. Yeah, let's hear it. Because we have $10 from French for Yes, who says, Wee! Wee! <laughs> um, I also have $250 let's go. from Moose, who says, Thoroughly enjoyed Animal Well. Would love to see an extra any percent run of it. Now, if I could only find those last few eggs. And now, as not a connoisseur of Animal Well personally, but a fan of Zelda, I choose to believe that those are Zora eggs, yeah? <laughs> we need to find the Zora eggs. <laughs> Let's do it. Only $6,000 away. Uh, coming up on Poe number three here. This one's honestly one of the more annoying ones just because of these other bubbles that exist in the room with us. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, so we kind of missed that there because the targeting priority got messed up. Wasted a few of our seconds. I am running a little low on checks. Ooh, as I say that, that is our second key shard. We need one more of those bad boys and we potentially skip the last portion of the dungeon. And we got like about like five checks left before then. And then there's five more that's locked behind the uh, the bow check. I'm gonna do another nifty little LJA right here, where I'm gonna get it above the door back there, and then we can just slip through that hole and not have to knock it down. Oh. <laughs> 
We don't have another small key, so there's like a key has to be in this room. It's either a small key or the, the third key shard. So we're rooting for that key shard. Show it to me right here. Don't show me that small key. Oh, oh that's, vanilla. Uh, hey, that doesn't mean anything, though. It's about to. But. <laughs> Yeah, I got a uh, nifty little LJA coming up over on my side here to skip having to pull this chandelier. Just got to make sure we get the bubble out of the way there. And then we get onto the corner of uh, the ground right here, aim up at the ceiling, put the targets just about right there, and then we can get up onto this chandelier and skip having to pull it. Nice. Just give me the key shard. Yeah. <laughs> We've got like three checks left, and then we got to go to the back part. Hey, you know what? You all didn't donate for me to skip parts of dungeons. <laughs> Although I guess we are speedrunners. That's probably what we inherently do. All right, so this room in Arbiter's Grounds is uh, very annoying. Um, but thankfully, we have our good old friend, the ball and chain here. Um, so we can uh, use it to take out all of these uh, little style children here that like to crowd around. And then we can also use it to get rid of the re-dead uh, that's back here. Otherwise, these re-deads are very annoying to deal with. On our way to our last Poe. I was trying to go for a nifty little ledge grab skip right here, uh, but we failed. So this time we're going to try it again because I don't want to not. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's going to... Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. All right, SVA, my dude. Let it happen. Uh, we got two more checks, then we're going to the back part. Isaac did not bet this part. We got, oh, we got a lot more part. There's been so many purple rupees, dude. How many purple rupees are there in the pool, Lunar? Uh, a lot. <laughs> oh, I was going <laughs> like to say, 20. all of them are in Spike Seed right here. Yeah. There is one yeah. final chest, then we are committing to the second loop of the dungeon. Oh, really? All right. I'm being weighed down by the rats. There we go. Okay. Just... Right here! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Thank God. No Dangoro today. Poor guy. Uh, uh, Spike, I have a special donation for you. All right, all right. All um, right. It, it's fifty dollars, and it says it's from Oxocarb, but I really think it's from one of those chests you opened. Okay. Um, it says, "Hey, listen, two of my favorite runners with one of my favorite games. Take my purple rupee." <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, you know what? It was for charity. Thank y'all so much once again. $1.1 million raised already for Doctors Without Borders. Let's keep it going, gamers. Animal Well, Animal well any percent bonus run, Ocarina of Time bonus game. If you're watching this, you probably like Zelda. Let's get him in the marathon. Right here, I mean, we're gonna try to snipe this one from a little bit of a distance away. Let's go ahead and put on the bow. And then just do a little shimmy around here. And we should be able to, okay. I looked MLG there for like one second of this run. All right, now head on over. And we have got, uh, what's the name of this boss again? Virus. Virus, yeah, my dude. I forgot to read the wiki before we started this. <laughs> but did you read the game facts? <laughs> That's my number one website, That's great. All right, well, best of luck with whatever you're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is normally where the boss is. Whee! Whee! Spinner's so cool. Can I, can I slip in an, another very timely donation? Sure. Because I have $5 for you from Tomomodachi, who says, uh, you spin me right round, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> right round. Let's get that bonus, bonus dungeon. We did get that met. Ooh, yay. Claps from the back couch. All right, so. Um, oh, I already kind of messed something up. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to move around Stallard on this side. Uh, 
can go up here. Let's see, I need this and I need this. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Do I remember what the lineup here is? I don't think I do, but it's something like this. Oh, no, that's definitely not it. Uh, oh, that's right. That's what it is. It's this. We do that one, two, three, four, um, five. <laughs> jump attack, jump attack. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna hit me, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, so if we were set up in the right position, uh, the next thing we would try to do is this. Oh, no, didn't quite get that. So we're trying to do a trick here called Claw Shot Actor Displacement, where basically we're trying to pull this guy here all the way over to, uh, actually, hold on. This can soft lock, I should say, first. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. Oh, was a good catch. All right, so, uh, okay, so we weren't quite in the right position there. I want to at least try to get this, because this does look very funny if we uh, properly get it, and I don't want to get damaged by Stellard. Okay, so I need to be more over on this side. Uh, let's see, and then, okay, so we got the Claw Shot Actor Displacement, and okay, yeah, we did not go to the right place. So, unfortunately, uh, the trick is dead, so we'll just have to fight Stallard regularly. But oh. basically, <laughs> we'd pull this guy into the corner over here, use him to clip out of bounds once with a uh, precise claw shot aim to get into the wall, and then use a damage boost to get out of bounds to fight him again. Also, I'm just gonna take damage here to reset the room. Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly, like, that's super cool you went for it, that impossible trick. But also, the quick kill on Stalord, I think, is one of the most satisfying things that can be executed, can be seen in this run. So I'm glad Jim's going to get to showcase that. Oh, see, thankfully, in Twilight Princess, we just respawn at the start of the boss fight here. Yeah. So it's not a huge deal. And while he's doing that, so I've done all the dungeons that I have to do. Jim, I will start to scout out where the small keys and, most importantly, where the big key is inside of Hyrule Castle. So we'll hopefully be able to just give him some information. We'll be able to hold hands going in to save Hyrule together. Yeah, so for the actual Stallard fight, um, we have to basically break Stallard's spine three times. Uh, ideally, we jump off here immediately and it can get another hit in on the spine. Uh, okay, we got a pretty clear path there, thankfully. Nice. Where the Stall Troopers spun up is RNG, so you kind of have to... Um, like, in the moment, uh, oh, that's that's a giant wall of them. Let's not do that. Uh, okay, so he's got the three back there. Do we have anybody to hit off of? Any bros? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> All right, got to try again for the pinball strategy here. All right, we're going to try to aim for this guy right here. Uh, that was weird, but we made it work. Nicely done. And so what's going to be coming up here on Jim's side is that he's going to try to manipulate, sort of trick Stalord into staying a little closer to him in phase two than he should. And then at a very specific timing, start the spinner motion and get on the wall. And if you do it correctly with, with precise timing, you're able to jump off and knock him down almost instantly. What does this say? Oh, cool. There's nothing in <laughs> city. There's, there's nothing, nothing in city in the sky, sky baby. What a great hint at this uh, point. <laughs> so here we are in Hyrule Castle. The big thing we're just trying to find is the big key. You always need a minimum of two small keys. I'm going to let them come up and hit me. That's going to be my trigger to pull out the bomb, because the bomb is by far the fastest way to deal with all these macoblins. Oh, nice, and they all died, actually. Great job. Um, that bird we don't care about. That was kind of mean. Sorry, I love you. Ow, no, you suck. <laughs> oh, fine, you go. Um, yeah, so there's like nine or so checks out here in the courtyard, and uh, we're just going to go finagling through them as we are getting the quick right, knockdown from Gymnast. Nicely done. And now try to go into this perfect chaining together of the jump slash into the triple hit quick spins right here. Nice one cycle. All right, we did six dungeons, collectively. God, we have been here for so long. We knocked out <laughs> six dungeons. Actually, you know, pretty fast we're going to do six of these. And yeah. now we're in a Hyrule Castle, looking for all our keys. The only reason why we would need the third small key is if the treasure room, which admittedly... 
<laughs> There's t- <you're> two? <laughs> Double boomerang. Is this Ty the Tasmanian Tiger now? Ah, uh, yeah, so uh, if anyone doesn't know, I'm holding the boomerang right now. So we know that is a fake. Do <laughs> you want to get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You are a fool. <laughs> So yeah, fun fact, Twilight Princess does not have like eye straps or anything like that, but other games have it and we thought it'd be cool, so we added them in. <laughs> we like a mild amount of suffering. Only a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and so ice traps as with other games, if it's a freestanding item that's an ice trap, it'll appear as a fake item. Um, which is why we saw a uh, second Gale Boomerang there that was not actually a Gale Boomerang. Yeah, it wasn't clear. We knew just based on the settings, because obviously Twilight Princess dungeons are a little longer. All of the checks that were in the, ah, were in the <laughs> other three dungeons uh, were all junked effectively. They all had to be bad. So the fact, like you would never go in there. So the fact that it was a fake boomerang, that was great. Oh, big key. Big key, all right. Big keys, all right. So that immediately eliminates the treasure room, actually. So from here, we just have to find two small keys. So we know Jim's got to come over to this right side. Let's go. He's getting the shield. We're getting the Orden shield. And donating to charity for it? Yeah, Very donating nice. 500 rupees to charity for it. Yeah, now the randomizer quality of life is normally you have to donate like 50 rupees over and over again. So we change that to 100, and you only have to donate 500. Oh, there's a bonk. Uh, one, one more dollar from Crane. Bonk, let's hold. In, in interest of the bonks, uh, can I share with you a beautiful donation? Yeah, oh, please. Here's $250 from Man of Teal, who says, Whee! It says Link Bonk Sound. <laughs> I did my best. I love how many are <laughs> do this thing. The exact wording is great. Yeah, so in the interest of splitting up Hyrule Castle, I'm going to go to the left side here, which is uh, much shorter than the right side. So hopefully by the time that Spike is done with the right side, I'll have, uh, be able to clear it up a bunch of the left side here. Yeah, there's potential we just get our two small keys here and we're just done. But we might be looking in the second area, we'll see. Otherwise, you might have to go for a pretty precise skip called uh, the Double uh, Dark Knight Skip. So double Dark Knight Skip. Small key. Nope. No, there are none on, the, well, not none. As right. we traverse, do you have time for a couple more donations? Yeah, we're yeah. just looking for small keys. Go for it. Wonderful. I do have quite a few fishing mini game takes for you. I know you never would have seen that coming. Right, right, right. Um, right. <laughs> we have $10 from Fishman, who says the best fishing mini game in Zelda is the Bilocyte fight from Skyward Sword. <laughs> Where else can you anger, the an it angle, anger a wind fish? Uh, something like that. <laughs> we also have uh, $100 from Kathy42, who says, best fishing would have been Majora's Mask. Fishing while the moon is about to crash? Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got one small key on this side from King Bulblin. Vanilla small, let's go. We'll see if uh, a second one exists in any of these other chests. Yeah, thankfully we won't have to oh, find okay. three of them for the treasure room. Yeah, so all you need from this side is the big key. Yeah, so I guess, Ed, uh, the only way that you could possibly, or that we could possibly have to do double dark nut skip is if both the small keys are locked behind uh, the double dark nut skip. Right, yeah. there's a couple other checks from there. One more check down here in the corner. Well, it's, oh, well, you already have a, you already have a small key. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, one small key from Gomo, chat. Is this gonna be the one? Is it? No, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh he's sketch. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> but it was quite funny. All right, so we do have to do something inside of Ganon's or uh, uh, Hyrule Castle. What it is, I don't know. I love this right here. This is the simplest little skip in the world. So right here, I'm about to screw it up. Um, no, there's a barrier. It is the laziest spawn in timer ever. So we just didn't have to fight all these dudes. You were waiting for these guys to come over. So now they're probably quite confused. As long as you just know where it's gonna spawn, you don't gotta do it. 
Do you have a moment for another very special donation? Go for yep. it. Because I have $840 from the SGDQ Poker Tournament. Yo. Oh. <laughs> this is what we like to hear. All right. They would like to say raised $840 on our event poker tournament and then a million exclamation points. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. I also have here uh, $10 from Stealthy Dragon, who says, can we start the Ocarina of Time goal off strong with a $10 train? More GDQ is always better. And I have to say, we are starting off the Ocarina of Time goal real, real strong. We're almost at 10% of the way there already. Y'all, that's incredible. Keep it going. More Zelda. I really like Zelda. <laughs> I like Zelda. Zelda's fun. So Big Key was just in the, the set of three chests. Yeah, it's the one on the left side, the left of the left. Uh, so uh, am I doing the double darn skip? Uh, if you want to, you could just you could just forge on ahead anyway, and I could do it after you if you haven't found a small key by that sure. point. Yeah. Want to leave that one up to the coach? <laughs> I do want to say Jim has been an amazing coach and co-op partner this entire time. Uh, for just getting to learn the randomizer and everything. So uh, I've learned like a million things watching him. Jim is a, an incredibly talented speedrunner, but also a very good person. And the kind of person you want uh, as like an ambassador for the 3D Zelda speedrunning community. 3D Zelda speedruns are super, super cool. The randomizers are super cool. And Jim, uh, you are a great representation of that. So oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, no, it's been a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun to play with. Always, make all, the funnies. always some hijinks to get into. Mm -hmm. Right here, we got another barrier. This one's a little more specific, so we're gonna just skirt the outside. And there's only like three waves of enemies you gotta worry about there. Let's put on the lantern. So we're gonna get to the top of the Hershey bars right here. <laughs> Drop on down, and then if you light just a single torch here, I guess the game is confused. I don't know what it is. And <laughs> the entire room is lit up now, including the one on the right. I don't know why it isn't just at least light those two. Yeah, normally the be, like completing that fight down there is oh there's our small key oh okay we're well, that yeah. um, we're yeah. gonna hold hands together let's go woo but yeah normally the lights in this room light up once you beat the fight that we skipped um, so beating the fight is what makes the entire room light up and makes that chest appear so you don't actually need lantern to make that chest appear we'll go Phantom do you want to explain a little bit about how we're gonna fight Dark Nuts and eventually Ganon <laughs> so. Dark Nuts, by hitting the shield on the Dark Nut, it effectively stuns them for a little bit so Link can run around and just smack him in the back, knocking off all the armor. Jim uh, is doing the ball and chain strat. Uh, Lunar, you probably know more about how that one works. Oh yeah, ball and chain. Um, so, uh, like you mentioned, uh, if you hit them with the sword, it kind of stuns them. And then you can just swing the ball and chain, and it goes really fast, and it hurts. And you know, if you get hit with a giant ball and chain in the face, I'd try to. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, really nice technique that exists. That little running slash that you can do without losing any momentum, because that's what allows you to get behind it and allows the entire strat to work. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with just movement and swinging your sword that no other Zelda game has. May I shout out, we are less than $5,500 away from that bonus any percent run for Animal Well. Great Keep it job, going, everyone. Gamers. Also, uh, just as a treat, would y'all permit me just one more link sound? Just one, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Because we have a $50 donation from Village Mascot who says, What is Link's favorite hotel to stay at? Yeah, it's high end. It <laughs> spells high end. <laughs> Thank you. I hate that I love that one. <laughs> yeah, that room that Jim's going through right there. It's uh, it's one where there's a bunch of invisible rats that'll get on top of you. But if you take some good movement, good spacing there, you can actually just bypass the entire thing. 
Yeah, and this is where the hard, uh, or at least the hard logical requirements for a lot of these items come into play, because logically for this uh, passageway right here, you need the double claw shots. Uh, there is a way you can get through it with just a single claw shot. Uh, it's not actually that bad, but it sometimes it like takes a while because it's kind of tedious to do properly. It, it is fairly tight, but it is very doable. And then we want bomb arrows here for these guys. Oh, I don't know how you escaped out of that. All right. And then this is where the spinner uh, is hard, or not, not as hard required, is logically required. Uh, there is a way to get past this spinner requirement too with a bunch of uh, stupid LJAs. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Once again, this one's just a couple pixels to work with. Yeah. Unfortunately, because the randomizer skips cutscenes so quickly, we can't actually skip this dark nut, which is typically skipped in uh, vanilla speedruns. Well, I mean, technically on the version they're on, there's a setting that can true, fix that. True, true. You could disable cutscene skips. And do it manually. Right, so I'm going to wait for Spike here so we can go tackle the final bosses together. Oh, God, wait. now there's pressure on me. <laughs> so running strike, that'll trigger him. Three. Run back. Okay, so his armor's all the way off. I don't have a shield, so we're trying to just dodge that <laughs> any way we can. It's fine. One, two, pull out the ball and chain. Can we catch him? Oh, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Let's go! Perfectly in sync. So, Jim, you gonna do that? Uh, this Zelda is so crash? close. <laughs> Am I gonna do what? The Zelda crash? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this final gauntlet right here, we got four fights starting off with Puppet Zelda. Now, this is actually normally for fans of like Link to the Past one up, and maybe you don't know TP. It's almost like the blue balls of this game, where <laughs> there's just a percentage chance that Puppet Zelda will give you the correct attacks or not. Um, this in the randomizer, thankfully, the RNG is set. So on the first, third, and seventh attacks, she will always give you her light orbs. Yep. Any chance that she can throw an electric ball, she will. Uh, there is still RNG on the middle attacks, so whether they're the triangles on the ground or she flies at you. Uh, another thing that was also fixed with uh, RNG in this fight is in vanilla, there is a random amount of frames between each attack, between 50 and 150, and we just locked it in at 100 for the randomizer. Yeah, so also, while we're essentially going through this, what is an auto-scroller lunar, uh, where can people go if they want to find the Twilight Princess randomizer? So if you want to find the Twilight Princess randomizer, you can go to www.tprandomizer.com, not to be confused with dk 64 randomizercom <laughs> <laughs> But yes, tprandomizer.com, that's uh, where the web generator is, link to the Discord, all the fun resources can be found there. Have you have you also just gotten all triangles? I I saw one swoopy doop. Okay. I, I'm just getting all triangles. Uh, <laughs> I just went triple triangle. While we're fighting Zelda, can I give you a donation from Princess Zelda? Sure. Of course. Because Princess Zelda donated $25 to say, don't you just hate it when your legendary hero decides he'd rather go out of his way to explore more random dungeons instead of coming to save you? Our bad, it was for charity, sorry. <laughs> so now we go immediately into B-Scan right here. We gotta get off a quick arrow shot or a ball and chain shot right away. Then we gotta react to where he falls to. Whoop! So right now, I'm going for a more beginner-friendly strat where I'm doing the double jump slashes. Jim is trying to go for one that is going to manipulate him to have a very specific amount of health to have a very quick third hit. We did do some manipulation right there, also having him land in the center, already facing us. Pull it out into another double jump slash. So now we're going into our third phases where Jim has had Probably a slightly slower first two phases, but he will spawn faster. Or he's able to just have to see where the portals go. Yeah, because of the amount of damage I did, he's just going to spawn in a single portal to try and catch us off guard, which we see right here. Oh, and he did catch me off guard, apparently. <laughs> a button. There we go. 
Ilya, Ilya, Ilya. <laughs> What'd you say? One of your friends thought it said email? My chat seems to think that it says e that the chanting says email me. <clears throat> email me. So we talk about how we get to the final boss of Twilight Princess to have a boardroom meeting with Beast Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> And now we go into the third phase. This is definitely uh, one of the trickier ones. We have got Horseback Ganon, and we're gonna try to do some pretty specific movement to manipulate him getting in front of us. Uh, I do have the Great Fairies tier, so I'm gonna try to two-cycle him, but we'll see how it goes down. Yeah, so ideally we want him to try to swing at us right here and then get behind him just like this. And this is my preferred RNG. I really like it when this happens. I know that he's gonna try to juke me to the right here, so I'm gonna hold right. Uh, oh, okay, well, unfortunately, we did not turn fast enough, so Zelda was not able to get the straight shot onto Ganondorf there. That's the second one. And then, is he going to try to juke us again? Oh, not really. Okay. I am stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure I put this on, because now we're gonna try to stay right behind him and go for a second. Oh, he's giving me the, the loosey-goosey. Come on. Because, yeah, there's no RNG as far as, like, how Zelda is concerned. Let's go ahead and actually drink the thing, because now we'll do double damage for, like, 10 seconds, so hopefully we can catch up to him. All and, right. yeah, all right, do the three cycle and the two cycle. So now we've just got the final Ganon. And just like Phantom was talking about earlier, that running slash strike, we're going to try to manipulate that to... <laughs> Jim's about to kill him in like 10 seconds. Good luck. <laughs> well, actually... Whoa. Fishing rod. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. hold up. Fishing mini games? Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey, it was fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> you got to reel him in, Jim. Oh. <laughs> you got to reel him in. All right, well, hold on. Do I do we have Ganondorf in the fish journal here? <laughs> you haven't uh, caught him yet, no? No, we haven't caught him yet, darn it. All right, well. Oh, hello. All right, one more time. Here we go. And... Oh, no. Uh, well, guess not, unfortunately. No Ganondorf fish today. It's one knockdown. So that's... You do need to delay your jump strikes just a little bit. That's two. That's three. <laughs> I can't mend you. I well, can't put on the iron it. boots. Oh, darn, oh. you got up for me. And, oh, do it. You got this. He was <laughs> waiting so long for me. Time is coming up. As soon as we get this third knockdown, we're putting on the boots. We're jumping on them. Time. Time. <laughs> okay. All right, we found all the items. Man, we did so <laughs> much Zelda there. <laughs> I know, obviously, we just took a lot of extra time, so I do want to just say thank you. I'm Spike Vegeta. You can follow me there. Jim. Yep, yep. I'm Gymnast86. Uh, you can follow me at Gymnast86. Um, thank you very much, Lunar and Phantom, for yes. the commentary for the TP randomizer, and uh, do not think this ends here. <laughs> <Grr>. <laughs> See y'all later. Get that OOT run met. Later, gamers. Thank <laughs> you.